Bill Burr and Jim Jeffries making their way into the studio. <laughs> Got to go to Sean in Rochester real fast. It is, Sean. What's up, Shawnee? Hey, guys. Hey. hey uh, I just watched a Today Show getting ready, and some 13-year-old girl just said cunt twice to Meredith. Yeah, it's coming really? in a lot, so I guess it happened. We're trying to get the audio. Oh, what was yeah. the, what was the circumstance? Like, what uh, happened? They're talking about some, so I guess some girl got beat to, like, half to death yeah. over a text message. Yeah. And uh, they were asking her what the text messages she saw said, and she just said it. And, uh, oh, that's great. You know, really? Like, called her a cunt. Yeah, it was, it was pretty wild. And oh. then I heard Meredith Vieira gave her a scolding or something. Yeah, she just said, you know, please watch your language, honey. Ah, uh, Meredith. All right, well, thank you for the heads up. We'll get the audio on the air soon. Look All who's right, joining us. Boys. All right, brother. Look who's joining us. Bill Burr and Jim Jeffries in studio. Jim Jeffries. Hello, Hello gentlemen. Uh, let, me get the, Burr. let me get the plugs in. Bill Burr's going to be at Caroline's this weekend, right, Bill? Yeah, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So starting tonight through, uh, and Sunday, it says. Oh, no, I guess. Uh, yeah, Sunday's uh, Okay, no, never mind. Oh, it wow. says Sunday, 12 a.m., so that's a... That's a they're they're looking at a third show Saturday night for you. Yeah, you're you're that guy now, at Caroline's. Yes, I am. They're working me like a Holy dog. Holy uh, shit! Like, no, I've, yeah. I've always had the third show. And like no. twenty five people show up. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, let's get through this quick. What's the deal with everything? Good night, everybody. You, you feel Wild good because you got two sold out shows. So they go, look, let's go for a third. Yeah, and no, they have to ruin it all. For it's you. kind of one of those things. Uh, somebody finally told me that just do three on Saturday. Rather than doing the one on, on Sunday because the same 150 people show up. That's a good idea. You know? <laughs> well, then Jim Jeffries is at the Stress Factory starting tonight, right, Jim? Yep. Uh, uh, we want to know, are you drunk? No. I'm, I uh, saw uh, your tweet about 5.30 in the morning saying. I've apologized to all of you individually for the last time I was here. <laughs> I apologize. I, I, uh, great. Yeah, I, I watched about five minutes of it back on the internet. Oh. Now, i got to say, because I did come in last time I was here, I was plied with so much drugs, it was unbelievable, right? <laughs> and I had a girlfriend at the time and then I was hitting on that, that uh -oh. thing so I lost that girlfriend uh. and my, my because people get on putting it up on the fucking internet yep. like this whole thing of me just openly saying I'm on drugs and then I shag some bird or something and I was actually writing to people to get it taken down, but they were putting it up faster than I could put it on. There's so. no fighting the internet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's no damage control <laughs> on the no, internet. No, no. <laughs> it's yeah. over. Once it's tried. on there, it's done. It's <laughs> damage <laughs> burst spreads like the plague. <laughs> but I, I was I was a mess, and I I'd like to openly apologize for the last time. Oh, I, I don't even think one's necessary. Yeah. So you, you are so that's a drag for everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's why people want to hear me wasted now, don't they? It's, uh, it was guess. a lot of fun last He's time. He's apologizing for great radio. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, Sorry, thanks. I made your job easy. Thanks for apologizing. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, d d Bill, the Gary Coleman photos? You're, you're, someone was telling me you're all pissed off about that. Iraq was uh, telling me. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. He just told me about it. I didn't follow that. I was real depressed when he died. Yeah. We yeah. had him on, man. It was depressing. My age, just to know, even with kidney f yeah, failure, but, yeah, somebody could die at that age. Kind of freakish. Yeah. Yeah, not just but it means that you've got a guy. better chance. So no, I understand, but you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. It's just still like, hey, hey. I thought that there was going to be, he was going to have the Travolta comeback, you know, like, uh. like Tarantino <laughs> would somehow figure out how to make him a badass. <laughs> you know what I mean? He had the two chrome guns. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden, you know, Gary's back. Bring you know? in the midget. Coleman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some of the medical breakthroughs, they could grow a couple kidneys in like a Petri dish. Yeah. Just Stick them in there. But like, I, obviously his wife was a right cunt, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Something's and going she, on with she's got to be there. like that whole nine one one call still, where she's yeah. just like going, "Don't!" And she goes, "I suffer from seizures." I'm, I'm very she, suspect she, of her, by the way. I'm very suspect of yeah. this whole thing. I heard I Opie already called. Uh, already called that uh, maybe she was involved. No, I think oh, I, I was. Yeah, I was. No, I said outdoors gay. Uh, we got a yeah. couple things going on on the show. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've, heard I've this been well. watching too many shows. Uh, those crime shows. Okay. The, uh, yeah, you know. The, the the real ones, not CSI or something like that, but you know, that first forty eight, and then uh, Dude, the cold first, case files. First forty eight is going to get somebody killed. It already the, well, they're saying they were kind of responsible for somebody being shot in uh, Chicago. Why, why wouldn't they? I like when they 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 black out somebody's face, but they leave their voice. Like if I they blacked out your face, like I wouldn't know that was yeah, you. Yeah, you wouldn't know it's me. And <laughs> you're standing in front of your vehicle, yeah. but they but they they blacked out the license plate. <laughs> Gee, yeah. there sure are a lot of El Caminos out there. They're I wonder who that is. They're dealing with some hardcore motherfuckers, too, yeah. like killers, and they just barely pixelate some guy's face. Dude, yeah, I saw, I saw one. Him. 
I saw one where there was like an eight-year-old kid who saw the shooting. So they walk up to the kid's house. They're showing the kid's entire house. And then they black out his face. And then they pan from, just in case the criminals are... They didn't black out his face. It would... Oh, Jesus, Anthony, <laughs> really? Still? Hey, kid, close your eyes, kid. <laughs> <laughs> still. <laughs> you think he's going to change? Uh, you know, you just figured, on, you know, Phil. it started off, he seemed like he had a little sympathy for Gary Coleman. He yeah, decided on do. him, and I was like, maybe if he flipped a little bit. I do. I have you know? a lot of sympathy oh, for Gary on, Coleman. Anthony. I think he was murdered. I think he was murdered. I absolutely by what, that pure by white that woman? Wait, wait, woman. I want to know, <laughs> know what they pan to. They panned to basically where where the what the kids saw the crime. So just in case the guys were just so fucking stupid that they couldn't figure out what house that was, <laughs> they showed its juxtaposition to what the kids saw. To where the crime yeah. was. <laughs> It's within shooting distance. Yeah. Yeah. They it's do very obvious that. where the witness lives. Yeah. They show their house. <laughs> Come on. Their whole body from the neck down. Their car. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty much it. They had a big issue in Chicago. Uh, they were st uh, serving an arrest warrant for some guy, um, and it was a murder rap. So they took the crew down, the uh, camera crew. They got one of the teams together that bust into the house. They busted open the door, and uh, there are allegations that the, as, right as the door opened, one of the cops fired into the room and hit uh, a girl, like nine, ten year old girl, and killed her. And this was all on video from First 48. So uh, the Chicago mayor has now said there, there will be no more cameras following around police during any of these uh, exposing activities. Exposing what we're doing. But it's like exposing yeah, what but... we're doing. <laughs> it's like, it's like, like that gay that guy who got tasered off the camera the other day. What was yeah. The, yeah. Oh, the porn guy. Yeah, the porn. Was, was he a gay porn star or was he regular? No, the thing is right. Regular. Oh, all right, good for him. <laughs> I'm good for him. <laughs> <laughs> but it was that whole thing they go because of the taser that made him fall off. He was jumping already. He was jumping. Yeah, he was already. He was doing nah. the old suicide by cop. Yeah, suicide by cop. Yeah. You pull out fucking something shiny and point it at him real quick and you're done for. <laughs> Close your eyes and look the other way. That's it. <laughs> I didn't kill myself. At least I could be buried in a real cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, yeah, I don't but doesn't think the God know what anything. you're thinking? No. God knows what you're thinking, then technically you don't get in. Yeah, it's not a technicality, but I mean, come on, you can still get in, right? Well, you're saying you if you kill, if you kill yourself, you don't get into heaven. You go to purgatory. Yeah, which is, oh, fuck that, the man, thing that's going not on. fair. So if you, so if I'm you, I'm planning on killing myself one day. I don't need this heaped on. <laughs> now the whole afterlife's gonna be fucked up. <laughs> I don't. There's no God. What a ridiculous thing to say. <laughs> what, a, what a ridiculous American fucking idea. Yeah, but, because we're the only oh, ones yeah, in the we're world. The only ones. No, eighty-five percent of Americans believe in God. In Australia, it's like thirty-two percent. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, they're so well, advanced over there. Yeah, yeah, they really are. That's, that's great. A bunch of kangaroo that, rapists. That and men at work. <laughs> Crocodile we Dundee. We believe, we believe Jesus in men Christ. at work. Jesus Christ. What, yeah. what do the rest believe in? Just nothing. nothingness? Just cricket. Cricket. Yeah, I that's don't know. It. Just, you know, casual racism. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe in, uh, there's not a big uh, religious thing going on down there, huh? No, it's too hot for that type of activity. Too hot for that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just think it's just blackness, nothingness? I just and... think, no, I just think, of course, when you die, you just, you, it's, it's like, over. yeah, it's like, it's like before you were born. Before you were born, same thing. No, you, yeah. you become part of the earth. Yeah. That's basically, that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're, we're, we're not supposed to be uh, put in castings. You're supposed to go on the ground and become like a fossil fuel or like limestone. You just get impacted down. Yeah, I and you, think you after make, a you, while, you make a canyon. No matter what it is, it kind of happens, right? You know, even if you're in a casket, you know, thousand years ain't gonna do it, but maybe ten thousand, there'll be nothing left. You should, you should get burnt when you die. You shouldn't put, get put in a casket really? and get a, ah, put, because put them in the ground, enrich the soil. No, no, yeah, it burn and then just scatter ashes. Because you put someone in a fucking box under the ground, people are gonna keep coming along. We're gonna run out of ground space. It's just, just common maths right yeah but also it's um, it's yeah. people don't take care of the gravestones after after the kids grandkids don't give a fuck they're never oh, cleaning so up the tombstone like, as time goes by you only just, get one generation of care you <laughs> get one more generation of care on your tombstone <laughs> and after that you're a fucking nobody the grandkids ain't picking weeds yeah, out yeah, from there no, and... no one cares <laughs> yeah. no one's cleaning that thing cleaning up the that flowers the god's honest truth right there yeah and if you didn't Man. have kids you don't even get a generation you get fucking nothing you get till your brother dies that's true because if you go to a funeral you go to the cemetery they plant whoever you're fucking planting mm -hmm. and then when you're walking out you look down at some of those 
most uh, headstones in there. They're pretty old. Yeah. And, you know, no one's been in front of that thing with any yeah. emotion yeah, you gotta, for it, fucking years. Some, some creepy historian. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> looking you up in the town records. <laughs> <laughs> he was a cobbler. <laughs> he was a cobbler. <laughs> That's exactly it. No, no one cares though. There's no caring, kneeling by the grave and talking to it. And you meant so. Well, I'm much. saying you shouldn't even go in a cast. It just stick you in the ground. In the ground, in like the ground. raw. Yeah, grow just corn that. over I, you. My, my, my <laughs> friend died when I was uh, <laughs> some snow piece. When I was six, six, sixteen, my best mate died in a car accident. Right. Oh, that's so, tragic. but that's what ha every teenager has a story yeah, where someone, someone at school dies in a fucking car. Yeah. But then he's, uh, he used to surf every day, so he's, his mum said to me and his other mate and his, and his brother, said, all right, look, uh, go scatter him out at the beach where he surfed every morning, right? So we swam out with his bag of ashes above our heads, like like all crying, you know. <laughs> swam out in the water and made a little circle and said, goodbye, Nick, you're a good mate, see you later. And then we cracked the bag open, just fucking covered in ash. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just had, went. like, we went out with such emotion and ran out like fucking, oh, get it off me, <laughs> get it off me. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is his head. Since man, we're gonna pour it in the ocean where he, he was happiest. This is what what's him. It's his essence. Ew, ew, motherfucker! You inhale his femur. Uh, <laughs> it was all over me. I sh most of him was showered off in one of those little, you know, those outdoor showers. Oh shit! Yes. Yes. Went down with some <laughs> drainage. He's actually scattered in the sewage system of Bondi Beach. God oh. damn, man! God. That's funny. <laughs> Eh, it's tragic. No, <laughs> Gary, Gary, Gary Coleman. Get back oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I, think was, I think it was so murder. very tragic. tragic. <laughs> I think it was murder, though. And now they're talking about some kind of blood spatter evidence that just uh, not to... Uh, that was just uh, his kidney doesn't fucking go along rejecting. With, uh, nah, there's something going story. on there. They're looking into it. Somebody's gonna get arrested. I, I think she's she has no, no, no Little black emotion mile. for this guy. <laughs> ah, she's a chick. She'll get away with it. Yeah. So do that thing where they put they, both their hands right above on their breastplate. I didn't know that. And they just get out of it. That's what. The, that's all they have to do. I didn't know that strangling him was wrong. Like this. They just. I, I, I was in the kitchen. And I... It's like all those wives are like mob bosses. Like they have no fucking idea. I thought he was a baker. <laughs> really? You th really? Is that what you thought he was doing? Yeah, no mob boss wife ever goes ever. away for anything. And they know. Know everything that went on. Like you didn't wonder how a baker drove a Bentley. How did not occur to you, stupid? I am Enzo. <laughs> oh fuck! Did Did you see the the bedside photo though? I saw that she looked. She was, leaned in, Bill. She did you see in the like, photo? Like she's taking a shot with the fuck. It looked like Jimmy <laughs> with <There's>, Ozzy. <laughs> Coleman's got all the tubes and everything. He's on his deathbed, obviously. She's, she's, she leans in for the photo, like it's she's for doing her the Facebook same page. leaning that you do, <laughs> do when you sign? <laughs> when yeah, your right? friend's fucked up, drunk on the couch, yeah. and you take the photo like <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. bag it on his head, yeah, yeah. <laughs> snap the picture. There's a cock with a little uh, piece of hat. Put your ball bag next to him. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, he wow. looked even smaller when he was dying. Yeah, he like, did. His face, he looked like he got younger at the last moment. I it said, was, uh... I said he looked like, like a preemie, preemie baby. Yeah, like a preemie baby. Yeah. What's, a, what's a preemie baby? Premature baby. Yeah. Oh, a premature yeah. baby. Yeah, born a bit early. And yeah, yeah, got yeah, all like those tubes. They're always wrinkly little Benjamin Button looking fucks, aren't they? Premature <laughs> yeah. babies. Like, how many times have you seen them in the incubator things and thought, just fucking slap it on the back of the head at the end of the table and start again? It's not like you even wasted nine months, darling. It was out in five. Get over it and move oh, on. Shit. What the fuck, dude? Darling. Out in five. <laughs> oh, damn. Wow. <laughs> and I'm not even drunk this time. So. Uh, you're talking about graveyards. I got to get this guy in the line. Uh, Justin in Tampa. Mother drags him to the grave of his of who? Justin. Uh, my sixth great grandmother, like great 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 grandmother Phoebe. Why do you guys got to go to her grave? Person. What's that? Why do you have to go to her grave? I have no idea. It's 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 kind of in a similar cemetery as, as my great grandparents. Because what do you mean? Without, without her banging without a condom, he wouldn't be there. What, <laughs> yeah, basically, what do you mean? Moment. Kind of similar. Oh, Either it's the same one or it's not. Because yeah. all cemeteries are kind, kind of similar, similar. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, how's the how's the keep around the gravestone? Is yeah. it good? 
Yeah. Well, Holy shit, what a waste oh. of fucking time that was. <laughs> what a waste of fucking time. How old was he that his mother takes him? I wanted to know. Well, how old well, guy we, had a, we had a couple yeah. questions. Maybe his phone decided, crapped out. Who knows? Whatever. Yeah. yeah, I know. How old is that? What does it say? Wonderful mother. Great slave owner. <laughs> <laughs> she only whipped them when they were bad. <laughs> Great slave. Had seven kids, died at 16. Yeah. <laughs> A pioneer. That was really something back then. <laughs> God damn. Uh, oh, that's good. All right, we'll go with an ash story. Peter, help me out. That last call sucked. Peter in Jersey. Hey, hey, how you guys doing? Yeah. Uh, I was uh, talking about Jim. You're hilarious. I saw you got you in uh, Fuck, Fucksville, Pinebrook. But uh, I'm a pilot. I manage a flight school up here. We were dumping ashes over uh, <laughs> a college in New Jersey. We open the window. We let him go. Half the fucker blows right back into us in our hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, shit. It always sounds good on paper, but we're learning yeah, that it's not yeah. a good idea. Why would you fucking dump it over a college? I don't think the college kids appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, the guy worked there forever, and that was like his last dying wish. But uh, we, we were like, all right, uh, what? Like, we brought one up the uh, the. Um, what a loser. Well, right. Your whole <laughs> life, <laughs> right, I, your whole I wanna, fucking life, and it's a college. Right on. I would have been an urge. Yeah, yeah, what was this hobby? Just annoying I people. I sucked at everything, I and I, I mowed lawns. My father. <laughs> <laughs> what was this hobby? How about you fucking go with that one? Yeah. Or Instead of where you hobby. worked for 50 years. Yeah. I want to be <laughs> spread over a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> So I go, no, no, you got to drop the fucker out, not me. I ain't open him. And then finally, halfway through, he starts all coming back to the plane. We're like, let the bag go. So I'm sure. Did someone... you say, let the, oh, let the bag go? Yeah. Oh, I think he said, let the fag go. go. <laughs> That's a hell you know, of a you last know the wish. ashes, 90% of it's coffin. Because uh, they, no, no, they he, burn he, the he box and everything. That's, and then they just give you a portion bag. of it. It's not the whole thing. Right. Yeah. Why don't they, they give you the whole thing? Then they grind it's it a up. Fucking, it's a garbage bag of ashes. Well, that's creepy, though. Where's the rest of the they ashes? Give you, they give you a little box. As a, you know, like a, <laughs> like a, like a, like a shoulder like and a, a butt like a party cheek. Right. It's like going to KFC. Also, <laughs> let, me get, <laughs> let me get a two-piece. Right. Also, Where's do you the think they chicken? clean it out after each burning? There's fucking you getting a bit uh, of someone yep. else's you uncle know, and a bit of someone else's thing. A lot of people think they got the whole fucking body in their urn. You're no, ruining it they for don't. They don't. Well, why was my friend this big and then my grandmother was much bigger? <laughs> like, how the fuck did that work out? Just more ashes, right? Yeah, they, yeah. He was much taller they give you than more her ashes everything. for your buck. It's the, it's yeah. the breast. So, only a, <laughs> yeah, tit makes a lot of ashes. So, all these people with urns, they only got part of their loved one in there? Yeah, they've only got part of their loved one. They've got part of someone else's loved one. I'm trying to, because they don't, it's not like Holy they clean yeah. that oven yeah. out. They just scrape a bit from the end. Yep. Of course uh, they do. All right, thanks a bunch, guys. All right. I'm sure you're right, but we don't want to think it, that it about it. Right? And they run the bones through a grinder, too. Like, they grind them up a little bit. I think they just put the coffin in and just fucking light the bastard up. Wait a minute. What do you, what do you mean? Because the bones don't. Do they fillet you? And then <laughs> they just... well, well, no, they burn it. And then, like, what's left, the bones don't, don't really burn. So they got to grind it up. They run it through, like, oh, a grind, 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 grind. grind. What do they do with that? They, that right. goes in the, in the urn also. <laughs> See, I'd give him to a dog. I wouldn't mind if a dog was eating my bones. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's I like wouldn't mind. Big that. femur so in his what, mouth. <laughs> they reckon that so many wankers think that 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 <laughs> they can donate their skull to the theater, and then when they do Macbeth, that uh, my skull will still be performing. You know what I mean? <laughs> performing. But, but there's so many cunts that are doing this. The theater companies around the world are like, no more skulls. We've got enough they got, skulls. Like, they've got, like, they open a door and there's fucking thousand skulls in a little <laughs> room. And every fucking posh cunt who's like ever wanted to be on the stage. Like the tunnels of the Rouge. <laughs> wow, bravo. <laughs> Indeed. Indiana Jones scene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like the guy opened up his own skull store or something. Let's say oh, hi to Chip. Tommy in Chicago. Chip sucks. <laughs> hey, buddy, congrats on your Blackhawks. Did you watch Ooh. the hockey, Bill Burr? Hold oh, on a second, yeah, Tommy. Yeah, yeah. It was, was a good series, right? Yeah, it was great. It was great. I thought uh, I thought I was going to go seven just because both teams had waited so long. I figured they'd torture their fans. All one, the way to the end. One more even, even the way they had the, like, that was the weirdest celebration of an overtime goal ever. Like, no one even knew it was in. <laughs> like, was it in? And and it, was, it, it was like yeah. dead silence. Yeah, because they didn't fucking. Yeah, watch the Blackhawks. Like, three of them stay on the bench. Like, you know, is this like some sort of, like, practical joke? I'm going to start yeah. freaking out. And, and then they had to, like, they literally had to regroup yeah. to celebrate again. Yeah. Instead <laughs> of just having that moment happen But uh, that is the naturally. biggest. that is the biggest stunned silence I think I've ever heard. Yeah, the, yeah the, the, light, the light didn't go off, and uh, no one called the goal. 
Well, but everyone but was I just mean it was just dead yeah. silence. What the fuck happened? <laughs> uh, all right, Tommy. Yeah, so <laughs> I was just like goes, ah. six or seven years old. I was out in uh, South Carolina, and I, my dog had died, so I brought the ashes out to throw in the ocean. And uh, I was like halfway out, like up to my waist, and I went to go take a big handful of ashes, and I threw it, and just then a big wave came back and knocked all the ashes back into my face, and I swallowed some of the water with the ashes in it, oh. which then caused me to gag. So then I vomited. Then another ash, then another wave came in, and I swallowed my own dog vomit. <laughs> who, 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 dog who, 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 is that real? Are you saw yeah, something like a fucking uh, who, one of those uh, Max I, Tucker stories. Who, who burned yeah. the dog? Yeah. Why, why did you? you it's not real. Why did you burn the dog? Why didn't you just bury the dog in your backyard? Like, yeah. who, did you burn it yourself, or did you get no, someone? We had it. We went to. Uh, it had to get euthanized, so we uh, the. Whatever the vet sent it out to get it. Well, my mom was really into the dog, so she kept a little like keepsake urn of it. Bury it in the yard. Yeah, yeah bury it in the yard. Little, wow, little you want your, yeah. you want your dead you pets in your yard? The Just put it in a sack. <laughs> throw it in the river. <laughs> <laughs> people overcomplicate things. Yeah, they certainly do. <laughs> How mean were people back in the day when they had a big litter and they would they couldn't have the decency to choke them oh, out? God. They'd stick them in the sack with the rock. Well, I would just drown them. Yeah, I love drown how you say them. in the, the day. People way. still do that. Though. It's the most people humane way is to drown year. them. There's always but some I mean, just, it, well, it was just I don't know. I watch cartoons. That's that's my uh, <laughs> that's my like history. I don't watch the History Channel. I always see that in the old cartoons. Somebody does that, and then the cartoon cat crawls out of the top yeah. and does something heroic. Yeah. Why are you going to fuck with my reality, Jeff? That's revenge. <laughs> you want to know about a company that turns your dead uh, loved one into a diamond? Into a diamond? I think I've heard about that. Yeah. You have heard about this one? Yeah. How can you make a diamond out of a dead... The creepy people are the ones that get their fucking pet. Sounds like this came out of Germany. You've seen the pet yeah. ones, right? Yeah, they, they freeze dry their freeze pets. Freeze dry the pets and then put them in a position like they're just no, sleeping. No, the taxidermists do it, it's don't they? And they yeah, fucking, yeah. Like it's fucking. It's always action, like it's hunting. They, yeah. they do that be one sleeping. sleeping. So yeah. they could just lay there and look at him and go, oh, he's sleeping. But it's never the licking his own ass <laughs> <laughs> position. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do it. You might as well go. Dude, you know, you know they, they basically on, they peel the, the whole skin right off. Like there's no, I don't know what, what I used to think was in there. But there's nothing. <laughs> oh, it's like a framework and just wire and wood it's just and shit like stuffing, that. Stuffing, isn't it? Yeah, just no. But cotton. they, they. Uh, I know a dude, a dude was telling me this horrific story about shooting a deer and actually just saying it was the worst thing he ever fucking did. Yeah. Like he shot the thing. The thing. He was so deep into the woods it didn't even have any fear of human beings. So it was kind of walking up to him and then he <laughs> shot it. It jumped straight up in the air and did like a 180, ran away. And then, like, 50 feet away, was going, like, uh, like fucking, making, like, these human noises, dying. So oh, then they he, they take it to the fucking uh, the meat market or something, and this guy comes out, you know, the whole Texas Chainsaw Murderer guy comes out. <laughs> and you just fucking, he just peels the skin, face, the whole fucking thing right off. Ugh, and he yeah. said and there's all kinds of maggots and bugs inside the fur. It's fucking gross. Uh, while, it, while it's alive, it's got that in there? Yeah. Ugh. Well, I mean, it's not like it, yeah, it does, you, they don't have those to, flea collars out there. You're allowed the, uh, to taxiderm a, a human? Is that legal? Could you? They've, you, done, those, theory, uh, you they've do done those shows where they yeah. uh, they use some kind of epoxy yeah, shit. Yeah, but that guy who does it in the museum. Yeah, right? in the museum. But I'm saying, yeah. could you get grandma, fucking peel the skin back, stuff the bitch, and then that. put her at the end of the dinner table? <laughs> I don't think you're, you can do that. Like, on her hands and knees with her pussy up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> it. Improper <laughs> disposal of a body or something law. I'm sure there's a law against it. You can't just have your own grandma stuffed at the end of the table. Oh, let's go to Todd in Lancaster. <laughs> Todd, <laughs> fucking baby powder every grandma. day. Yeah, he's going to yeah. explain the diamond thing. Todd. Hey, yeah, Todd. Hey. How are you, Jimmy? Where's yeah, they uh, they take your body and they basically squeeze the shit out of it and they make a laboratory diamond out of it, like under extreme pressure. It's fucking crazy. Well, they they burn it first. Could you uh, make... just bring that down to regular guy terms? Yeah, that was a little too technical for me. Yeah. Oh, you didn't like to squeeze the shit out of it. Squeeze the shit out of you and all this other yeah. crazy fucking shit. <laughs> make a diamond out of you. <laughs> so you really Thank ran you. Us through the process. I'm so glad you explained it to yeah. Yeah. for everybody. <laughs> That's the only reason you're on the show. You know yeah. what, Phil? You're right. Dumb it down for us common people. <laughs> All right, boys. Jim Jeffrey rules. Thanks, man. Jim Jeffries or will be Jeffries. at the stress factory starting tonight. <laughs> Jim Jeffrey. Jim, Jim Jeffrey rules. He's the Jim Jeffrey. I've never Jeffrey. had that one well, before. Jim Jeffries is also banned from a radio station, I have learned. Are you And he's... also, uh, you got the, the Jewish uh, folks. I've, I've upset the Jews of Kansas. 
It's got to be seven what? people. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, they were out there. I, I, well, I'm recording my new DVD in, in July in Britain, and I'm, I've called it... Uh, Kike Smash. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's pretty much. It's, pretty much. Called, it's, <laughs> called, it's called Alcoholicost. Right, which oh, I thought right. is a nice little name for a DVD, right? Sort of a right? play on words. Yeah, yeah, a little play on words. Alcohol and it turns out the Jews think they own the word Holocaust, and no one else can use it. And mm. I said it was a word before then, and, yeah. you know, I'm not referring to any Jewish routines or anything. Uh -huh. And then I may have said it's been 65 years, you've got to get over things. And that might have uh, upset. That's the one that does that's it. That's the one that because did Because any white supremacist would say the same thing. And yeah. I, was only, I was only being a dickhead and being... A bit flippant about the whole thing, and I don't mean that. I'm not an anti Semite or anything, but the Jewish community. You went gotten... for the joke in that moment, and then yeah. they decided to take it seriously. And then they seriously. decided to take it seriously, and uh, yeah, so that's that. That'll never hurt you in show business, packing the Jews. It's a good move. What did they do? There's no blowback on that. Yeah, no way. It didn't hurt Helen <laughs> Thomas at all. Right. Helen were... Thomas knew 10 presidents, and she fucking walked <laughs> <laughs> away on that shit. <laughs> Yeah, way to go, Jim. They, to go. they wrote a few letters and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and those letters don't and then, get outside and then, Kansas. And then, You're I, right. and then I said, Kansas in City. response, I said, well, I also did a lot of jokes about 9-11, and no one said anything about that. And then everyone remembered I did some 9-11 jokes, so they wrote letters in about that. <laughs> and Jesus, then, you just yeah. keep digging the hole. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was, uh, I was just, and I just... blamed the victims of child molestation. <laughs> yeah. you know, just sort of a simple bit. But I was just having a laugh. But the thing was, the radio station had me on there for about an hour and a half. Right, and that, 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 I can't even remember. It's just one of those just one little those shows. John, Johnny Dare's the other one I do over there, and he the he was Blumberg and Weinstein it. show. <laughs> 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 but no one said anything. Everyone was laughing. And then after they get the letter, now they're like, "Yeah, we were appalled as well." By oh, the whole fucking situation. Phony. But they're afraid yeah. for the gig. Uh, we, we were in yeah. such shock that it was delayed, Paul, and yeah. it came. Our shock came out in laughter. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> and encouragement. And, and so, so, we, so we table left, pounding with we anger. Left him on another hour on the show. You know, so <laughs> I did a joke basically, which was the whole idea was. The whole the whole idea of calling uh, American sporting teams like the uh, Cleveland Indians, the Atlanta Braves, it's a, it's a it's a genocided race of people. You know, if there was a German soccer team called the Munich we like Jews. We to say relocated, yeah. right? And I did that <laughs> joke. If there was a soccer team called the Munich Jews, and then everyone, I was trying to prove a point. That's a good joke. Yeah, I mean, it's also sense. too the problem with that DVD is a lot of stores wouldn't carry it. It's like sometimes you got to think of what will they put in a store. Alcohol, of course, they may not put up. Sometimes, like rappers, my friend did this thing for rappers where he would go over their album covers and they were very adamant about shit that would Walmart would carry because, you know, for sales, you might not I, want to I put something they wouldn't carry. I don't see mm. what is, yeah, I must be just insensitive bloke. I don't really see the problem. I just no. thought it was a funny word. It is. <laughs> it, it's like a holocaust of alcohol. Yeah. 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 See, it's like alcohol cost. Mm. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's, what's the uh, big news <laughs> though? Yeah, exactly. But, thank you. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah I, yes, Chip. <laughs> no, I think you should have called alcohol a cost a few dollars or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think Chip is funny. Chip, Chip is funny in his own little way. I think Colin Chip's, Quinn Chip's... loves him. Yeah, taking him under his comedic wing. <laughs> I, I, we've been listening to you guys. Uh, stop giving Bobo such a hard time, man. Yeah, you don't like that. I feel sorry for the poor bastard. Ah, he's, he, we we gave him a life. He, you know what? Last, <laughs> last, yeah, time, that's last, how we look last time, time you what what does that remind me of? We gave I gave you life. What you want your life back? I, we're we're God's yeah, last where, time. Where's God? Last time I was, God, last time I was he had here, nothing before us. I've, I've flippantly <laughs> said that because yeah, he'd never been laid, that I would pay for him to go to Vegas and get yeah. fucked if needs be. Right. Right. So he comes and sees me in Caroline's, and he he says, "I oh, thank you for the holiday to Vegas and the hooker," and I'm like. Yeah, that's just radio talk. No, <laughs> you're not getting shit. Yeah, I'm sorry. That you ain't getting sorry, shit. Sorry for breaking your little retarded virgin heart, but uh, it's not going to happen. Now, Bobo loves this show. I don't know he does. You know, he's got to do some, some stuff for us every yeah, once in a while. Of course. Like masturbate while his mom's downstairs. I've seen the photos of the cherry dart ass uh, thing. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that fantastic? It looks like a crime. Yeah, I think it was, technically. <laughs> it looks like the, uh, the first 48, the way yeah. you guys blot <laughs> out his face. Blot out his face. And... <laughs> yeah, why did you bl blur his face out in that photo? Like, that was uh, the thing. Keep his ball bag in his asshole. Nice. <laughs> yeah, we could have blurred hey. that out.
Uh, we got the clip of the Today uh, Show. Oh. I, I guess a, a 13 year old was on there. What happened? Saying cunt. Some 13 year old live TV. This Today is big show. In, in America there, Jim Jeffries. Yeah, you well, can't say you cunt can, on You can't the, say uh, cunt on TV. You know, you can. Well, you can, but uh, you, you get yelled at by Meredith. This Vieira. whole idea that girls hate it so much. Girls love it when I say cunt. Yeah. This accent, man. Well, I'm the accent. They, 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 they love that. They just think that I don't know better. Well, I know better. Yeah. I know better. <laughs> they, they, they it just, just sounds it. friendly when you say it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're from Brooklyn, not so much. Yeah, there's a difference between you little cunt and you fucking yeah. cunt. Yeah. Hey, hey, you doing, cunt? Cunt? He's a bit of a cunt. Fucking cunt. Yeah, see? Such a fucking cunt. It is. Man. It's how how you say it there. Uh, but she said it on TV, and Meredith Vieira was not happy. Can we go back to March 17th, that day that those text messages were exchanged between Josie and Wayne? You were in school with Josie. You you heard about the texts? You saw them? I only saw two. You saw two. Did you see the one where he threatened her to kill her? <laughs> no. You did not. Which ones did you see? Oh, no. <laughs> um, the one where he, she calls him a rapist and she calls him a cunt. I mean, he calls her a cunt. Okay. Um, <laughs> twice. <laughs> <laughs> I love how she thought the look was uh, she had the wrong pronoun. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, no, he calls her no, a no. cunt. Sorry. No, but see, what is so offensive? Uh, where, where, right. are they, where are they conditioned to think it's offensive? He, she just called him a rapist. That is a way more offensive thing right, than right. him calling her a cunt. Exactly. exactly. And one may explain the other. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then Meredith Vieira is outraged. Why don't you see ahead of time what these fucking text messages exactly. say? That is great. What I the know. fuck? Yeah, yeah, there's no little I'm pre interview sure with this girl. I think that, that and she calls him a cunt. I eat. I mean, he calls her a cunt. Okay. Um, we just have to be careful with our language, okay. but that's all right, sweetheart. I think I just got an erection. Oh. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah was that, was, that was damn sexy. You gotta sexy. be careful right. with the language, sweetheart. Ah, right, fucking A, I you will. A, you asked her what did it say. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. true. The yeah, kid doesn't know the FCC. She's yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No idea you can't say she, cunt on television. She called her the C word. Yeah. yeah, that's what the, the kids C not word. Do that. that girl has not a clue about like rules and regulations of broadcasting. Of course not. Why would she? Oh, she just knows about little friends calling each other cunt. Fucking bullshit. Thirteen-year-old <laughs> crap. She's got to deal with Meredith. Watch, 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 watch that language. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. What? What language? Rapist? <laughs> yeah, no, I think the that's, cunt part. That's somebody yeah. behind the scenes job to read that. She just, you know. Yeah. Yeah. She's doing. What, 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 what do I got next? Oh yeah, some kid uh, filthy yeah. text. Okay, I'm gonna going tell on? her. Yeah, I'm gonna tell her to like fucking say what was in the text, even though I have no clue. The word "cunt" is in there. How old? <laughs> how old was the girl? Like thirteen. Thirteen. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, see, that's thirteen. It, 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 like it's 13. offensive enough that a thirteen-year-old girl's on television talking about rape. Right, I, I think. You, you call it offensive. Exactly. <laughs> so the words for it. Yes, legal technicality. Yes. I just, you know. Masturbation <laughs> fodder. <laughs> Enthusiasm. A yeah. goal. Well, I got, I got raped two years ago when I was 14. <laughs> That's, uh, That's some dude. amazing audio. You ever hear that one? <clears throat> What's that? Oh, God. The Australian girl. Yeah. God, it's a, it's a radio long, contest. Radio bit gone bad. It's worth playing again if Bill's never heard it. It's unbelievable. What happened? Somebody gets raped? No no, 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 no. I don't even want to give it away. If we have the audio, I just want to play it for you. Okay. Hey, uh, no one gets, no one gets, don't worry, no one gets raped, sensitive West Coast Bill Burr. Mm. Oh, as opposed to how I was before I went out there? <laughs> <laughs> you, were little, you were a little more angry, I think. Wasn't I always the one going, dude, I can't believe we just did that to that retarded person? As we walked out, you don't remember those guilt yeah, walks back to the truck? All right, I do. Yeah, remember. there you go. Yeah, all right. Fucking I'm ridiculous. Sorry. He was in place for then. 40 years and sit in the sunshine and have one fucking grapefruit, and all of a sudden you care about people? <laughs> <laughs> you, know? you think I don't have people walking out on my shows sending angry emails? I'm dangerous too, thank you very much. <laughs> you will prove that at Caroline's this weekend. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the morning drive, what is this? Station you got banned from? Oh, I have to read all. I ain't reading all this shit. What reading. Happened? What a faggot readings radio for station. Readings for stupid people. Yeah, that's right. Mm. More. You're on the morning drive on KBEQ. Oh, is that the one that I got in trouble for? It's a redneck country station. I I think it might have been a country station. And here's the note from the vice president after your appearance, <laughs> Mike Kennedy. 
Uh, oh, he's also the morning show host. Oh, boy. <laughs> Vice president for programming and operations and the morning show host. Wow. Never good. That's... Yeah, you know why? Because there's so many people that are good on talent side and the management side. I, I just, I just oh. feel uh, I've, I've burned <laughs> a lot of bridges in my um, Kansas City radio, you know, deals. Yeah. So I'm pretty, pretty devastated about the whole mm. thing. Well, that's just saw, to let you know, over here in the state, future. that's that's a real hot market out there. Just <laughs> <let you know. laughs> All American comics are clamoring <laughs> to get out there to do that Topeka Wichita run. <laughs> Uh, well, he he writes, or uh, maybe maybe this was audio. I don't know. We all agree the comedian in, in question. Wow. Uh, they don't even mention your the name. Part of the first part. <laughs> this is when your jokes stop being jokes. All of a sudden, they become statements. Yeah. yeah. I became aware of his statements. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. No, it was a joke. Yeah, it was a joke. Yeah. Uh, we all agree the comedian in question should not be back on the air with us in the future, and we probably. Should have had that segment uh, ended much quicker. <laughs> like, oh. I was on for another yeah. hour. Can, can you do that if you stand around and watch a rape? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Maybe we should end this segment in, quicker. In we hindsight, have, yeah, in hindsight, we should have stood there. <laughs> yeah, and cheered it on for an hour. <laughs> should have ended World War II a little quicker. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that's what. Hey, college boy, you're next. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, never good. <laughs> I'm quite into that porn. That one. That now. That's like a new thing. What rape porn? Where they're they seem to be fucking some chick at a college party where everyone else is just getting drunk around the outside. Yeah, I've seen those. You know what I like about that? It's like, I could be one of those drunk guys. I don't even picture myself fucking the chick. I just, you know, having a good time. Just watching. Being invited to a party where I'm welcome. That's all I really <laughs> That's what he's taking That's away from these horrific movies. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't like the movies that uh, show like like people being injured or anything like that. I don't like or, or, any or mentally porn. fucked up. I just like two happy people fucking. Maybe more. No, no, I yeah, don't. I, I don't like them. <laughs> in a station wagon with a "Have a Nice like, Day" sticker. I, yeah, I like the good I times. Like Country I don't, squire. I don't like lesbian porn. Country I need squire. a lot of cock in there, Whip and yeah. one girl <laughs> being all fucked up by a lot of. I only like lesbian porn if it's mother daughter or like something really inappropriate. That's kind of sexy. Yeah, 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 yeah that yeah, type yeah. of role play. Yeah, yeah, it's hot. And I don't like sex outdoors. I hate it when they're on the beach or something. I just think, yeah, yeah you can no. get burnt. I hate feet <laughs> and food. Feet and food. I hate when fucking people at some point d d decide to stick some dirty porno toe in their mouth. It's <laughs> fucking disgusting. And also food. Food, food is not se sexy no, when you sit there right, and right. that nine and a half weeks douchey scene uh, where she's like that scene? sticking a pop tart down <laughs> her throat like, like oh yeah <laughs> thank you people talk Look at the about that. right on her cleavage yeah, no, I've how never. sexy that is it's the one of the worst fucking scenes it's just disgusting food on a body do you Stop remember it. like about 10 yeah, like 15 years ago with food my and sex is juices. disgusting like if you go to a titty bar and they actually serve like wings no, it's like are you out of your fucking mind I don't know if it happened over here about 10-15 years ago they brought out chocolate body paint which was like a fucking jar of just chocolate shit with this fucking brush. It wasn't came. high quality? Oh. And every every girl, like, they couldn't fucking sell enough of them. Every yeah. girl came back with, look at the fucking, I like chocolate. And Great. This is going to make your cock taste better or something. And it was just, just uh, messy. Everyone messy. Everyone, just, no just, one wants to eat it. Yeah. And it's like, uh, it's like those fruit roll up uh, edible cure for panties salty they made. Gym cock. <laughs> Does your boyfriend always want to bang you right after the gym? You just fucking squirt some chocolate on it. <laughs> they, they, they they made those fruit roll up like uh, uh, edible undies. They called them. Oh, yeah, yeah, and on yeah. the outside of the box, it looked like panties. Oh, disgusting! And, and it shows like oh, a yeah. caricature okay, of yeah, some yeah. guy eating the the really nice lacy looking panties. And then you open the box up, and it's like a fruit roll up version of what a sumo wrestler wears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Some fucking strip it's just up a the horrible, ass. horrible triangle. And it was before a girl shaved, yeah. so you know it's just gonna be picking hairs ah. out of this fruit oh. roll up. It's like, so remember they would melt before you even got, ah, got there? It was just, just dumb start melting to try. down. By our hot this. pussy. If I wasn't fucking pussy was melting <laughs> 16 and full of fucking piss and vinegar, I never would have tried it, but anything was game back then. Sure. Uh, horrible advertising, you're right. Care. Didn't look like anything when you opened that fucking no. But I, I do like a sandwich straight afterwards. <laughs> so no eating during, no but eating right after. during sex, but afterwards, just to have something on the side you need a little of the sandwich, thing. like a little something yeah. pastrami type of, <laughs> just, a, just a little bit of something on the side. I got the Australian radio show. We got that, but also I want to ask Bill about the 
I, I'm sure you picture you sitting there. So you got any brothers or sisters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah. just eating the sandwich. Yeah. After. Mm. Uh, this is delicious. Bill, you had to see the drummer uh, video, right? Oh, the uh, the the. Uh, it's more of a visual, though. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, the oh, only reason you, you, you seen it yet? Yeah. The only reason I, I bring it up is because Bill, you know, he's, he's oh, it's he has great. a thing for drummers. They say the drummer at the wrong gig. Th there's a video out. Where was it? Like a like a. It wasn't even a wedding gig. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it this guy is drumming his fucking ass off, and and I forgot the song. It, it just doesn't Shock match. Dress man. Really? Oh, what right. Shark Dress Man? Which, right. which is right. actually, you know, it's a it's a decent song and everything, but it's nobody in the in the band is going nuts. Right, they're and playing this like guy no, no, no. is playing like he's in Motley Crue in Are like 1986. Dude, oh, they're playing fucking no awesome. Way. They're playing a very conservative version of Shark Dress Man, almost like because there's older people in the in the but crowd. It's, it's also, and this guy thinks he's on tour. Simple world. drum line too on the, on that song. Oh, oh no, not yeah. how this guy does it. You have no idea. You've got to see it. Mm. You know what? Dun, dun. He, I don't see it. I'll say it on my little, podcast. Little... I'm going to take you to where me and the fellas performed. And... Well, all right, man. There was a, there was, it was a big 30 cents. It just made a lot of noise. But anyway. Just fast forward a little bit more. This is my... This next one, though, Texas Motor Speedway. That's where we're taking you. The heart of Texas. The Lone Star State. This is by three Texas boys. Got good. Z, Z, top. A little sort of feature of our best instructor fans. In Australia, they call it Big Big Top. No, he has ears. That's not the best. I'm just laughing already at his. Everyone else is just kind of going with it a little bit. Looks like that dude from Full House, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Our tight Cooley arrow. There you go, yeah. He is really flipping his arms out. Here he goes, here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he turned like a Chris Farley. <laughs> Holy shit! He's completely spazzing out. And he's not being ironic or fucking around either. He really means it. But he really knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, I've seen anything yet. This is my favorite right here. His arms are like snakes. Now, those are all heavy metal. That that was uh, that guy from Slaughter. That was one of his moves. And he's spinning the one fucking stick every time he hits. I mean, he really yeah. does know how to play. He really knows how to play. The guy, the face, the guy that was. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> this guy rules. This guy should be like playing White Snake music or some shit. He's, he's playing the second top. you see the double bass, you know, for a fucking oh, double bass. Full four, yeah, yeah. Full four, you're gonna like, all right, this guy's gonna bring something. He's wearing a yellow, like a shit. yellow tuxedo jacket. Yeah, they're awful, like a lounge act. Uh, the American flag behind him. It's really bad. Wow. It's like those three guys in Sha Na Na. They stole their jackets. Yeah. Look what he's doing. Let me his sticks up. I wish I could see what he's doing now. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> this guy knows all the tricks. Oh, he's doing like a robot all the move. All 80s fucking tricks. They got another one where he does this move called the Cobra. Where he has his arm up like a, like a 90 <laughs> like a, degree angle. A cobra. <laughs> as he's playing with his left hand and they just... <laughs> This guy's a douche. He has that drummer complex where they hate being in the back and not like one of yeah, the stars. There you know. he goes. He's looking to get some attention. Look at <laughs> He's windmilling. He's Pete Townsend windmilling with a drumstick. Yeah. Look at his stupid lounge jacket getting caught on his oh, arm. His friends must hate these videos. No, but with the other videos you see, they actually get more involved in. But it's just he's so fucking over the top compared to the rest of them. This guy's like famous now. Oh yeah, this he, guy's this video is doing very well right he now. He did. He did what he very needed well. to do. He made but himself famous. How is that cunt still fat? Like he, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You do that, you you do that for one hour a day. You're a thin person, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. Oh, well, you got good. you got to switch it up, right? Is that what they say? You know, uh, muscle yeah. confusion. But he does, he does, <laughs> same, the same shit. Same he's, move. He's, he's got to play the bass every <laughs> other day. Yeah. But he is, he is, that's the thing about drummers, right? If you're a drummer and you're in a big famous band, like say something like U2 or whatever, like a big band, it's just, you're just a lucky person, aren't you, really? <laughs> Sorry. He's now taking his hands and going around the back of his neck yeah. with the sticks. It looks as like he's dice smoking. Beat. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, how <laughs> dice used to take the cigarette and you know put what, it behind his head. You know what it is? He's probably bored out of his mind sure. and said, fuck. 
I'll have fun with this now, song. Now, this guy own. was back in, in the 80s. He was oh, in yeah. bands right. and did this shit and meant it. This guy he hated grunge. meant it. When grunge oh, came yeah. out, he hated it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was fucking... Yeah, there, were, there were chicks in spandex pants with fucking oh. shirts with Japanese letters on them coming up to him uh. at clubs just going, you really play the drums fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that's right, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking good. now, man? And the guys are doing the guitar thing where they walk over and they both go like, they, you know, like up together yeah, and yeah, then the down together. Guys, neck moving up yeah. the guitar. Yeah, <laughs> these guys but are the shadows. They really uh, are hacks. Dude, have you ever have, have you ever gone back? I love this drummer. And this uh, and who's the bad who, DJ in the MC guys. come Awful. out? Like, huh? what did you say? Is it like an MC or something? Yeah, the like, MC is yeah. like some... the same outfit as the rest of them. Yeah, hey, why is he just like the band? No, I think that was the singer. He no, was no, just, no, 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 no. He was just off to the side. No, no the singer no, no. was one of the guitars? Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, he, was, he was oh, like okay. the MC, but he comes off like one of those bad fucking But he's dressed DJs. just like the rest of them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, you want to do the uh, Australian radio thing for no, Bill Burr? No band looks good when they all choose an outfit. I got to go pee-pees. So do I. We do have to go pee-pees I haven't made pee-pees in a while. Yeah, I don't want to piss my, Sheik. myself like the Iron Sheik. I'm excited about meeting the Iron Sheik. Yeah? Uh, I've seen the picture of him in the room where he pissed himself last <laughs> time he yeah, was here. Yeah, that was gold. One of the best fucking appearances ever by anyone. Dude, the fucking... Just sitting there peeing his pants. He's just a grown man. <laughs> oh, it's like yeah. I was talking... I'm not going to babble about it now. Maybe today at 4 o'clock on my Raw Dog show. Oh! oh nice. Laurentine's my co-host this week, and Otto is the guy I'm having on. Very cool. Do you Otto, have your own show now? With George. Yes. <laughs> Excellent, man. Yeah. yeah. A little spin-off. A little spin-off. I know, it's a spin-off It's like the Joni like meets Chachi. Joni loves Chachi, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> have, you, have you ever heard the story about that? Now, I, I don't know if this is 100% true, but this is the alleged story. It's, it's, it's either Japan or China or one of those Asian countries, right? <laughs> Um, Joni Loves Chachi, the pilot episode, is the highest rating show ever in that country for the first 10 minutes because the word Chachi means cock. Oh, so it was Joni like, Loves Cock. Joni Loves Cock. <laughs> and everyone, everyone was going, oh. Oh, I might check it out to see uh, yeah. how much she loves the cock. Yeah, it's on at four in the afternoon, you say. Uh, Excellent. It would do even better in Asia if it was Joni Loves Projectile Diarrhea out of her ass into another gentleman's mouth. In Japan? <laughs> yes, of course. Savages. Yes. They love the shit. Oh, Joni they, Loves her wedding veil shat upon. They love a good rape porn, don't oh, they, they oh, If the girl's that. not crying, they can't come. They're yeah. terrible. It, it's yeah. It, it's like uh. it's, it's like their porn. They'll pixelate out the guy's the, cock. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. But they won't pixelate out the dog's cock. Like no, that'll no, be. No. But like we don't want to see a male's cock. That would just be uh, fucking. The pubes. They, they pixelate the pubes. And all their porn starts with like a girl who's carefree walking through the park. School girl dress. And then there's just like a guy. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, and then they're just getting what it's creepy yeah <laughs> but that's true, it this is i know it is creepy i've done gigs out there and just the constant like do you like you know you want to fuck some you like they come up they go do you like young boys you like young boys and then you go in japan yeah and you're like no 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 i'm okay and like, as if you're trying to haggle with them Oh, right, and I'm like, no, I'm not a pedophile. <laughs> it's like and they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, are up. you sure? <laughs> are you Come sure? on, you're oh, on holiday. All right, you got me. Yeah. It's like over here when you get off the plane, taxi. You need a taxi. Yeah, 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 yeah. taxi. Hey, you want to fuck a kid? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, right. like, it's like they uh, expect you to go. Now. Maybe if the price is right. <laughs> You're like, going to barter. I'm not yeah. a pedophile, but I am frugal. Yeah, so, so if you got a good deal, <laughs> I'm always in for a good bargain. <laughs> That's hilarious. I never fucked a kid, not because it's wrong, just because I never <laughs> found the right price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, why don't we take that break? We got uh, the Iron Sheet coming in. We got Bill Bird, Caroline's all weekend, starting tonight, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then you got uh, Jim Jeffries at Vinny's Club down there in New Brunswick, New Jersey, the yes. Stress Factory, Thursday through Sunday down there. Let's all take all right. a hold of our cocks and drain them. Our chachis. Mm. Yes, our chachis. Lots mm. going on. We got Bill Burr in studio playing Carolines. Oh. And Jim Jeffries is, uh, wow, he's all over the place. You got the Stress Factory. Thursday through Sunday, and then Wilbur Theater. I just saw that you got a sold out show up there, and they added a second show. They just added a second show a couple of days ago. Yeah. So everybody in the show. Boston area, let's go. Second show, uh, uh, Jim Jeffries at the Wilbur Theater. Uh, I don't know. How do they get tickets? 
The uh, WilbertTheater.com? Yeah, Ticketmaster. We've got those ones. Go see Jim if you're in the Boston area. Very cool. Oh, uh, question for Bill Burr. I like uh, asking him all the sports mm. questions in between visits. The perfect game. Oh, that? Should they, give, yeah. should oh, they have... Oh, that? oh, really? Should they have given him the perfect game? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I, I would have thought that they should have. But I, th- I just loved that umpire. Jim Joyce. I kicked the shit out of it. I it was kicked right the there, sh- and I kicked the <laughs> shit out of it. <laughs> I know. It's like, is that bad. what umpires say when you blow it? I kicked the shit out of it. Yeah, I kicked Biggest the shit out of it. Biggest call of my career, and I kicked the shit out of it. He's made that call thousands of times. Dude, the, the, thing, was, and the thing was, he wasn't even fucking close. And Not that was even close. worse. He pitches to the next. He threw a perfect game plus one batter. Yeah. And he, uh, I mean, he still got the no hitter, but perfect game. Perfect game. I mean, that that's like a handful of guys, right? That's yeah. why baseball sucks because that fucking twat Bud Selig is more worried about, well, now other people will ask me instead of just fucking being a man and saying, I'm making yeah. this decision, what? fucking faggot. He stinks. Wasn't it something that the, the picture I read in the paper that he had a kid the next day or something? He had a child like two days later or something. And and so there was the, the newspaper was like, it doesn't matter. He's won the best prize of them all, right? Uh, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, maybe he feels that way now, but in 18 years, yeah. that child's a bit of a cunt. He'll be like, God, Where's I wish I had that perfect home, game. A homeless guy can have a kid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anybody can have a fucking kid. There's only, what, Throw a 21, perfect game. Yeah, 20, no, it's, 21. Yeah. It's actually boss game. has kids. <laughs> <laughs> it shows you how easy that is. He did it at 50. <laughs> it would have been a great story. It would have been great PR for Major League Baseball. and Yeah, but... People say, well, if you do that, then you have to go back to the 1949. No, you don't. Yeah. No, you don't. I know, you don't. Exactly. Just say, look, I'm doing this one time only, and I'm not I'm not paying attention to what happened before this. Oh, uh, yeah, but then you, you, open, you open a can of worms and shit. He just said, oh, really? you so know, close he, it. he oh, really? fucked it. He fucked it. Really? So like, close it. Yeah. <laughs> open a can of worms, dump one worm out, and fucking close the thing. <laughs> <laughs> fucking twat you the commissioner. <laughs> Reseal it. Exactly. <laughs> the worm can is closed, motherfuckers. Yeah, steroids didn't open up any can of worms, right? Right. The fuck Dude, I, gotta be honest with you, I haven't I haven't been able to watch baseball since about June of last year. It just uh You're done. I was done. Once once Poppy came out, I was just like, ah, forget it. All right. It was all it was a Hollywood fucking movie. Mm. Are you guys looking forward to the World Cup? Yeah, you know, like, uh, and then you find out Stallone is like as tall as his table, and you're like, ah, I can't watch those movies anymore. <laughs> that, that, that's the reaction you should have got, Jim Jeffries. Yeah, I, I, I heard I, you. I got my strange jersey uh, on. I'm very excited. The I, World I, I couldn't, Cup. I couldn't be more excited than than this than this World Cup. I'm like a fucking. If I was a little kid, I'd be pulling on my testicles. If they canceled soccer forever, nobody in this room would ever know it. Isn't that? Well, it's somebody came in and said it's such a, in Europe- the world. It's a so European what? thing. Exactly. Thank hey, you. And a South American well, thing. Well, exactly. you know, but whatever. But not an American. Thing not real we're... people like you know American. Bad yeah. teams, not bad. You Do you know how bad like Beckham bombed out there in fucking LA? They used yeah. to watch video of the guy sleeping in yeah, England. Yeah, but they got no, no, no. But <laughs> no, but the thing was, Beckham was over the hill. He was already fucked. But, Oh, we wouldn't give a shit if he was in the prime of his fucking career. Make yeah. an action movie. We don't want you to run around. Can't use your hands. <laughs> have you? Have you run around with your fucking hands in your have pockets? You <laughs> and every time someone kicks your shin, you act like you fell out of a car. <laughs> Just come on. <laughs> run around with you your hands in your pockets. <laughs> you fucking serious? American football is the serious. faggiest sport. Oh, they drill you. You with your classic oh, foreign yeah. torso. Look at him. Uh, <laughs> the fucking Just seventh your, grade arms. With your and then Pooch, they had the nerve playing. to call us obese. I went over to <laughs> Europe. You guys are a fucking mess. <laughs> you fucking meat pie sandwiches. First of all, I'm Australian. And it's the same all... thing to us. We don't care about your games or your geography. <laughs> 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 wow. so I gotta admit, I, I watched rugby when I was in Ireland. That was the shit, dude. That is just the most bone crunching. It's just guys 240 pounds. <laughs> Just, just you just running into piles. Have you, and, 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 and have you ever watched Aussie Rules, like like proper Aussie Rules? I've watched that. Yeah, Jimmy says Aussie like, Rules Aus- all the time. Yeah. Huh? Ba ba Nothing Aussie. Aussie. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Aussie. Yeah. Australian Aussie. Rules football. Aussie. 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 Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. The cool thing about Aussie Rules is it's only played in Australia, and the only game that they have. Look how big can is. <laughs> is that a Simpsons episode? We got so offended in Australia when that happened. We what? were like, we the didn't fosters. have a, we didn't have a sense of humor about ourselves at all. You guys we're, don't even drink that shit, do you? Fosters? We don't drink Fosters. No, it's it's just something we export overseas. Yeah, fifty-two Swell. ounce, sixteen Wait, ounce can. You don't even drink Giant that shit. No, you, you don't. You don't. No one the drinks Fosters. We're, we're Tui's and Forex and. Uh, 
Each state and town so has their own beer. So why are you fucking giving us your shitty beer? Why? Because fucking we're selling fucking that's what, shit. To, uh, selling goods. That's what export's yeah, all they're about. Exporting. Yeah, we don't yeah. like this shit. It's you like the Mexicans. The, crap you don't want. the Mexicans don't drink Corona, do they? <laughs> Oh, yeah, then, then you hype it up like it's awesome. We'll sell it to these assholes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. G'day, mate. Yeah. Huh? Soccer, World Cup. I, I, the, what the, do you think? They sit down there eating uh, blooming onions, too? <laughs> it's a blooming onion. <laughs> well, if, if, Here if, in the if, outback. And they have a steakhouse in the outback, and they don't have to call it. Kind of like a Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, yeah. And Philly, just go give me a cheesesteak. Uh, I'm going yeah. out to the steakhouse. Yeah. yeah. I, I, don't, the I, don't, I don't like Philly cheesesteaks. I like the taste of a Philly cheesesteak, but I don't like the oh, idea of it. Yeah. I think they're great. Oh, no, they're good. But I'm just a offended steak that em. Philadelphia think they're steak so fucking cheese, special man. that they're the first people to put cheese with meat. <laughs> Since the dawn of time, someone's had cheese, someone's had meat, they fucking put them in a sandwich. You didn't invent anything. It's not a recipe. <laughs> Philly loves it. Uh, took it as their own. Yeah, that's like, it. Give me two wit, two meat. wit out. Okay. Two wit. Oh, God. Right. Yeah, two wit. Two wit. I like it. Without, to without. What's not to like? It's meat. It's cheese. It's What's bread. the cheese though? Because isn't the cheese like fuck? It's like Velveeto. Is it, it's, 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 yeah, it's a squirt it's to craft whatever. It's, it's not like uh, fucking like fucking sliced horrible. cheese laying there. It's, it's horrible. Horrible. It's the not cheese, a steak sandwich. The it's cheese might be on the cheap side. Okay, okay, but it's, it's a so steak with steak cheese whiz <laughs> and then like four pounds of bread. Yeah. Yeah, make your bread like down. I do though. like a good oh, greasy right. Philly cheesesteak. Oh, I love it though. Oh, I, love it. I, I, don't, I don't even like them in the Johnny Rockets or something like that. Just fucking, just make Johnny them home. Even, Rockets. Even fucking Subway. It's meat, cheese, and bread. Like, how can you have a, How can you go wrong? You can't go wrong. <laughs> yeah, you can't go wrong. It's like a winning fucking combination. <laughs> of course it is. I got to be honest. That's like the, you can go wrong. There's like those fucking like Bennigans. Remember that? Where you would just go in there and this, oh. everything was just. Like, how could you fuck this up? Like, you'd have to try. They could, they could literally make a cheeseburger taste horrible. You didn't like eating a bad burger and looking up and seeing a rowing oar for no reason? Yeah. <laughs> fucking assholes. Stop yeah. trying to be interesting. Yeah, with your fucking theme. Yeah. <laughs> trying to distract from their shitty food. Oh, look, it's a sneaker with a foot in it from Jaws. See that? <laughs> fucking street signs. You know, yeah. you know what? Yeah, it's you like uh, a yield sign. Got soccer fans checking in like crazy. They have nothing to say. But, 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 but there's not something about the United States, though, this guy wants to say. And then we'll Let move on. Let him say it to his and fucking we'll shotgun barrel. Uh, Joel in Vegas. <laughs> Joel. <laughs> ESPN last night that there more tickets were sold in the United States for the World Cup than any other country. Is yeah, that that's possible? Because we, that's because we let in too many illegals. Yeah, that's because you got like <laughs> Mexican immigrants. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> wow, way to break hey. it down. You know what, though? You're right. Come on. Yeah. You're right. I got yeah. the show. You're Nobody right. I know. You're right. No, no tickets are even talking yeah. about it. No, the, the, I don't the, know the thing is, The thing is because people buy them and they sell them. Because when I went to the World Cup with my dad, I was paying about... Well over a thousand pounds a ticket or something. And we the don't end. know what that means. Uh, pounds, I don't know. It's, how many, it's like, how many stone it's is like, that? It's like your money, but it's worth a lot more. <laughs> oh shit! That's <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, I, flimsy little faggy money that you've got. Right, in this what, does it, what does it mean, sir? You can relate I, to I the think audience. I've had this argument with you before. You're it's, right. It's dog, all flimsy the, faggy money, especially the one with George Washington. Remember the guy that kicked your ass? It's all the. Oh, no, hang on, right. hang on, Australia. We He's Australian, but he lives in England. We were the prisoners. Now, I mean, you know, in England. but the money here are, <laughs> is everything's English. the same fucking size, and there's no way of touching it. It's like you don't care for blind people. Exactly. I love yeah, when people okay. come over here. Don't they come over here to make it here, and then they shit all over yeah. it. Yeah, why yeah. are you shitting yeah. on us, Jim, Jim Jeffrey? You, you've, like left, you've, left, you've left two countries. <laughs> Where are you playing, the, the Melbourne fucking uh, improv tonight? No. You're fucking, That's right. You're at you the stress factor. So. Uh, you American is, people with your God. Uh, like, there's no racism. Like, you guys didn't kick the shit out of those didgeridoo fucks over there? Give me a fucking break. Do you think Jesus Christ. Do you think if we had a God, we could have done that without guilt? <laughs> like, killing aboriginals was our first sport. Name one fucking automobile that's a classic that you guys made. An Australian the Monaro classic. Monaro from exactly. Mad Max. Ah, that's a good car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, that, that, one. that was a I good one. I like that one. Yeah, all the Lost fuel the right V8 interceptors, You're still eh? driving a fucking Lost V8. Lost the V8 right, you interceptors. You got me, you got me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> In I fact, all the vehicles from Mad yeah. Max. And they only fly around in fucking those gyrocopter things. They, they would have had fucking Priuses. Why, if all the petrol ran out, did they keep the V8s? Keep the V8. It just doesn't seem like a just reasonable walk plan. walk away. 
I love I'll him. talk to this humongous. He seems like a reasonable have, man. Have you ever seen... <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mad Max, because Mad Max 2, you guys called The Road Warrior. Yeah, Whatever yeah. else in the world called it Mad Max 2, because the first Mad Max film didn't do that well over here, so they yep. thought, we'll make this one the first one. So Mad Max 2 was your first Mad Max film. But when the first Mad Max came out in America, you guys thought... Oh, we'll never, we'll never understand these Australian people. So you dubbed American voices yeah, over yeah. the top yeah. of these Austra Like, come on. That is so it, bad, we, I know. It are looks we bad. that hard to understand? It was oh. Mel Gibson, for fuck's sake. You they, had to put a they killed my wife <laughs> and child. <laughs> like, what? Are there, are there <laughs> undubbed versions now available? Oh, no, this American, this is Australian heat is getting to me. Yes. You know, just, oh, yeah, yeah. I well, bought a, the video cassettes and there was the American yeah, yeah, version. You, you, but you, you can get the originals You can get the original one. You can get the original, yeah, of course. Yeah. You get the originals But now. you all stand like this. I, yeah. Oh, you can't kill me, man! That's that's fucking guy. Like, was was Yahoo serious in that one? No, no, no. 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 Wow, no. Yahoo wow. serious. That was Young Einstein. <laughs> I watched that the other day on Netflix. That it's movie's not, horrible. It, it, it doesn't date that well. Isn't he dead? No, no, he's still kicking around. Are you kidding? I he tried Yahoo to sue the Yahoo the site because he thought he owned the fucking word. <laughs> <laughs> he was ten years before Yahoo came along and made him look like a cunt. <laughs> 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 fucking our other our other big celebrity, Google Wayne. He's <laughs> Google <laughs> Wayne. What's the worst showbiz name? Yahoo Serious or Whoopi Goldberg? Uh, That's I kind of a Whoopi Goldberg. Wow. Yeah, Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, those are two brutal <laughs> ones. You, exactly. you, know, you know what? I, Whoopi Goldberg the other day was because because Harry Connick Jr. got really upset when um, he was on Australian TV and there was like a, a an act oh, thing. race thing going yeah, on. And, yeah, and some Australian people blacked up, as we call it in Australia, we call it blacking blacked up. Blacked up? Yeah, because... They blacked up. <laughs> no, that's, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's the blackface. Yeah, we call it blacking up. They were imitating the Jackson 5. Yeah, yeah we call it blacking up because the joke is... Uh, <laughs> my, 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 my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend actually said this. She goes, uh, I, once came, I once came home and I went, uh, I went, sometimes when I get drunk, I, I black out and I don't know what I've done. She goes, well... Better than blacking up and not knowing what you've done. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that, that's what Connick was judging, right? That's right. Harry, yeah. Connick, Harry Connick Jr. was judging it. And then so they come back to The View and all the ladies and viewers are going, well, he's completely right to be upset and to walk off the set yeah. and everything like that. Let us not forget that when she was dating Ted Danson, he yeah. blacked up at one of her things. And all of a sudden, she's mightier than thou. Uh, she's very self-righteous about they this They brought stuff. that up. And now she yeah. oh, we brought to... it up once she and up she us. hung up on us. Yeah, we went, yeah. We went after her with, uh, over that one. Over the island. Thing. We, yeah. we got Jay Moore joining the conversation. Jay show. Moore! Holy shit, we got Jay a lot Moore's. going on today. Jay, Jay Moore's. Jay yeah. Moore's. Jay Moore's. Jay Moore's, you leave Whoopi Goldberg alone, okay? Oh, sorry, Jay Moore's. <laughs> sorry, Jay you Moore's. Leave. Is, that, is, that my, is that Jim Jeffries? Yes. Oh, and, yeah. and Bill Burr in uh, studio today, too. Billy there? Yes, yeah. I am. Hello, Jay Moore's. Got a full house today. Oh, Bill, Bill Burr and I did April Foolishness for K-Rock together, and we were kind of hanging out in the same dressing room for, I would say, the better part of about 40, 45 minutes. And it was kind of interesting. At one point, I said to Bill Burr, um, you can relax. I'm not going to say anything to make fun of you. That's the old guy. You seem to be, like, on your toes waiting for me to smash you. I was like, hey, good to see you. And you were like, okay. Really? Was Who was? A... I was? Yeah. Is this yeah. Jay Moore the comedian? Yeah. Is yeah. this oh, the same right. Jay? Fuck, I thought there was just some cunt ringing in. <laughs> you, you were in twice. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's telling Bill off. I'm like, who the hell does this not bloke not think he is? Not only am I the comedian Jim Jeffries, but I'm the promoter because I'm on uh, Amazon right now looking at Hellbound Live at the Comedy Store in London. And now the unabridged version, the Audible Audio Edition, is ready to go for anybody who wants to buy Jim Jeffries. CD and DVD. I suggest they get oh. after it. Oh. Ah, there you go. Very good. Look at him. Oh, well, thank, thank you for that. Plug in your wares. There's another ten dollars in my back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Five pounds. When you type in Jim Jeffries on Amazon, it says the ultimate tough guy. The life and times of James J. Jeffries. He was. He was gentleman Jim. He got beaten by. Uh, he, he was the racist bloke. Who uh, got beaten by the first black heavyweight or whatever? Oh, wow, I must have really. Gentleman Jim, he lost to Ted Spook. That must have been awkward. <laughs> After he got blacked up. <laughs> I think I've started something here. If everyone can start saying that, you'll all feel blacked a lot up. better. Blacking up. Because we just call it blackface. Yeah, that's not even because. A minstrel show. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not even effort. That's just your face. That's not arms and legs and, you know, yeah. real effort. Mammy, mammy, how I love you. How I love you. That whole oh, yeah. thing. Al Jolson.
Getting down there singing uh, Mammy. Isn't that amazing how you could get famous back in the day? Like, if you could do, like, bird whistles, you could get on, like, the Ed Sullivan show. <laughs> it's amazing. He sounds like a robin. <laughs> <laughs> they were desperate for entertainment. Yeah, anything. He could fucking... <laughs> what are you up to there, Moors? Well, I'm make, right now I'm making pound cake for my son, who's going to get on a school bus in about a half hour. My, a uh, commercial? Making pound the... cake? Yeah. He likes he pound likes cake. Pound cake. I, I read that in your book. He likes the pound cake. But you make it, or are you just cutting it up oh, up no, no, a Sara no. My wife defrosts it and puts oh, it in okay. the toaster. She makes say. it proof. <laughs> I was going to say. The toaster, well, when I wake up, the, uh, do you toast? the, the butter has yeah, been sitting out bad. overnight, so it's easy to spread, and there's like, cinnamon sugar. She, she puts everything out like so. Wow. How disgusting are people that leave butter out when they have a cat? And then you just see this big divot of fucking cat lickings in the butter, yeah. and they use it, a and they still tongue. use it. It's just like this rough cat tongue thing's been added all night. Cats love butter. Oh, they certainly they do. Sure do. Kisses me on the face, anyways. Yeah. What's the difference? Okay, kisses. Give me kisses. Oh, a little butter breath. I used, yeah. to, I used to have a cat no. when I was growing up that used to like always end up on with a pillow next to my head, right? Your in the morning, right next to your face. Yeah, but I used to wake up to it fucking licking my head. <laughs> Like, it's grooming me. It's probably got like that bald patch at the front, <laughs> right? Because it was the same section. But I, I got, so, rough I got yes. so addicted to that tongue yeah, fucking going over my scalp that I'd wake up and just be I was, I was in heaven. I've had Ew. many a wank to a cat licking my head. <laughs> you want to know a very odd fact about Jim Jeffries' cat? Also afraid of bananas. Oh, oh no, no wow. shit. You guys, you guys are the ones who yeah, we, broadcast that to the fucking planet. We uh, left it alone, though. We you left, left it alone. alone. We've been good. Some bitch in fucking Denver, Good Morning Denver, thinks he's hysterical and brings out a banana. And I just walked off set. And she's just like, I just walked off set. Fuck Good Morning Denver. <laughs> <laughs> Never have another Good Morning Denver. <laughs> Fuck you. It is incredible when you do stand-up how they like, uh, you know, you do seven radio stations and they're all in the same building. Then you got to go cross town and do the urban station. Like, yeah, they're coming out. <laughs> I, I don't do them. I say, no, I turn them down. I love the Mexican stations where it's just oh, a bloke shit. with a cowbell and a ding, 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 ding. Arrug! And you're like, is this a fucking show? <laughs> Wow, he's all dressed up today. Jay Moore, we got oh, the Jay. Iron Sheik in studio now as well. The Iron Sheik. Is he still champion? Uh, he is the champion. Number one country in the world. Is he really there? Yeah, he's ran the run. Yeah, he's won a gold medal. How are you, can Iron Sheik? I'm not too bastard. Can you hear me? How are you? Right? No. Good, hey, Iron good. Sheik, can you hear me? No, he doesn't have headphones on because oh. he got, he's got all that Arab on. shit I'm on. I'm going to tell him something very important. Yeah, we got to put your headset on, baby. <laughs> Gotta put the headset on over the top. Right, this is Jay Moore, Iron can you, Sheik. Can, can you hear the? Can you hear now? Someone to say something. Yeah. Uh, hi, Iron uh, Sheik. Can, yeah, can, yeah, yeah. can you hear me? Watch out, Samuel. Yeah. Iron okay. Sheik, are you there? Can okay. you hear me right now? Okay. Right. USA number Iron one. Sheik. Iron Sheik, can you hear me? I do. Yeah, yeah, yes. You yes. listen to me, good. You're a no good son of a bitch, piece of shit, motherfucker. You Fuck me? you, motherfucker. You're yeah, a piece of on, shit yourself. On. You can come suck my you're ten Italian. fucking inch cock. You're Fuck Italian. you. You're a piece of shit garbage. Come here, I'll put in the camel clutch. I'll fuck your ass. I'll make you humble. I know you'll do it in my butt, because that's the only way you yeah, can do it. Yeah, fuck <laughs> you, piece of oh, shit. Yeah, come on, man. I'm right outside. Come on, motherfucker. Well, I'm here, too. Wake up, stupid. You sound like a fuck moron. Fuck you. I don't want to fucking do that every year. Oh, he just, he oh, just, he just, let's, uh, he just let's, turned his let's, earphones let's, off. Let's, let's just cut with the trying to rile him up, okay? We don't want to do that. To, fuck. Wait, what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he threw his headphones. He doesn't want to. He, you know, we're trying to change right, his life around a little bit. All right, Jay. We'll talk to this. Thanks, Jay. You fucking iron sheik. Hey, iron sheik. Get back here. Iron Sheik. Hey, get back hey, here! Iron annoying, Sheik, it's okay. Annoying. We didn't want to do it this Iron way. Iron Sheik, Somebody we, uh, call it the guy hey, the legend. Phone. What happened? I understand. Iron we're Sheik. trying to change he things. He was the guy with the phone. We're trying to change, change things around here. We'll say, we'll say oh. sorry. Bring him back in. We'll yeah, go, bring we'll, him back we'll, in. We'll apologize. We'll we apologize. apologize. Calm him down. Uh, yeah, someone bring him back in and con you know, apologize for doing this. And no more crazy phone calls here. This is bullshit. Oh, my God. 
It's the Opie and Anthony but show. Things I are understand Jeffrey. that, but we did, you well, know. We're supposed to know. I know right, what the act is, but it's changing. We're uh, supposed to know that things changed? Tell him it was a phone call. I didn't know he made I a, to, I where know your, made where baby is your producer turn? at? I told him everything. I didn't know he made I, a baby I, face I, turn. Yeah, you know, listen to me. You don't go in right away for the kill. I, Wait, I, he's walking I, down the hall. What happened? What happened, Iraq? Why weren't we informed that the Iron Sheik had changed? What happened? I wasn't informed of that either. Who did you tell? Bill Burr Caroline's. Bill Sam. Burr, the Bill Burr, Sam. <laughs> well, why didn't Sam? Two tell shows us? tonight, Bill Burr. I told you, Sam. No more craziness. I yeah, saw that late one. You always say I've changed, changed and then I still act like a cunt. You know, you can't change overnight. Right, we, we didn't know Jay Moore was going to do that on the phone. We, we had no idea. Find out Jay Moore said he wanted to talk to him. Jay Moore was on the I phone already. I uh, Kenny's got a report. What's going on? He's ready. Okay. I gotta go. Thank you guys. I'm sorry it didn't work out this time. What are you talking about? Bring wow, him the that's, fuck back in. Huh? Let me work on him. Yeah, work on him. Go. Holy shit. Um, what the fuck? Yeah, what the... Iron Sheik's a bit fucking, fucking precious. Iron Sheik is a cunt. <laughs> what is he fucking doing? <laughs> fuck him, man. <laughs> fuck that old guy. He sat down, he came in to do an well, interview. Hold on, he might be quitting like drinking or something. Wrestling, he, he, who cares? Let's see how long he's off. He might be quitting drinking or something. Oh, Jesus he Christ. He wasn't drinking. He was a lot more fun when he was drinking. You don't drinking. call yeah. him a cocksucker before 10 in get the morning. Him, get, fuck him. Get him, get him a drink. Motherfucker. Let's see what happened. How about how about we say fuck uh, Jay Club Moore? Sorry, Kenny, what did you oh, hear? I love Jay. No, no I don't mean Jay Moore. How did Jay Moore? Bad way. How did, oh. I never met Jay, Jay Moore. Moore Why did, fucking... He was reading me on Wikipedia, wasn't he? Jay, I, I think so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jay, Moore, Jay Moore was just trying to uh, uh, like do, do a work with him. No, Jay knew exactly what he was doing. He but, <laughs> but decided to fucking the Iron start Sheik, a fire for us to try to put out. But he didn't know the Iron Sheik's character has changed. What, Kenny? What's up, Kenny? Did you ever notice that... Ever since you made him piss his pants, he brings a bodyguard with him. Yeah. So, what is that going to do? Yeah, what's that going to do? What's that going to do with that? Yeah, what's that going to do? What? Yeah, he's, he's done. He's, I think he's 30 left. years of wrestling made him piss he his pants. He left the building? Oh, yeah. fuck him then. Like, he, he got up early and yeah, everything. What and happened? He, did what, that what, he said he was sick to begin with and he wanted to pass, and then they talked him into coming. I in did not do it to me. Shut his voice out of the way. Come on, guys. Come on, cock you, cock my cock you, son of bitch. How about a little empathy? Empathy. <laughs> fuck him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck him and his goddamn fucking... What the May fuck? The I don't sign off on That's the Iron Sheet. Come on, man. Oh. Hours of entertainment. How many Saturdays did he fill up? Don't, don't, don't. Uh, hey, none, none for see, me. This is the thing. This <laughs> is the thing, right? Shit. The Iron Sheik doesn't want alcohol, so I've just been offered the Iron Sheik's alcohol because you want someone fucked up in the room. No. Yeah. So. Have that and now he's got his goddamn Yasser Arafat fucking uh, uh, headgear I'll, I'll on. Have it, though. We didn't it's videotape part that. Of the culture. <laughs> oh, you got it. Oh, God. Where's Sam? Feel? What are we doing? Where's Sam that, uh, that uh, we didn't know that he had changed his act? But how do we not have that taped? I, well, I oh, no, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be typed. You know what happened? It did happen so fast. I know, I know. but but I'd yeah. be you typed. No one expected that to go um, down. What happened, Sam, Sam? Could you grab a mic and explain, explain what the why fuck's going on? We were not told that Mr. Sheik uh, has changed to some kind of baby face now. Right, and uh, he doesn't like that confrontation. <laughs> that was fine with him the last every time he was in here. Yeah. Well. Uh, apparently his gimmick has changed as What's of his gimmick now? Today. Yeah. As of today. Right. Yeah, his new gimmick, gimmick is, is not moody. Like, What's his I, gimmick? Now he w would like to be positive. So why didn't he just say that instead of uh and Why doesn't he explain that like himself? Instead of saying, did you guys fuck explain that as a phone call? Humble. That we oh, didn't even God. know that guy? <laughs> yeah, they... <laughs> I also think his manager is dragging him around to places he doesn't want to go to anymore. His manager was a bit of a top, though, wasn't he? Well, his manager's doing. His manager's you know, a cuckold. Who the he colonel? Needs to, he needs to. <laughs> yeah, the colonel. He needs to <laughs> embed his head <laughs> under the skin. It's gonna make Iron yeah. Sheik cuckoo clocks so the second he yeah. dies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. But this was all. The old belt looked a bit plasticky, didn't it? it looked like yeah. they had won that That's in a competition. Right. Belt. Are we gonna get him back? No. Today. No, he's that's gone. really it. He's gone. They can't even she... calm him down enough to bring him back. He's no. gone. He was trying. His manager was trying to get him to come back. He wouldn't Fuck come back. Fuck him, then. What's yeah, he going to do? Sit here more and just go. I was champion of world, uh, best, the greatest city to run in. Come to Madison Square Garden. For the back in 1980, for the Hulk Hogan, he not the best. I bet. Fuck! Shut up. <laughs> Who cares? We heard it 80 times. She could go fuck himself with his curly shoes. Did you walk out with him? Yeah, and what, what were they saying? What was he saying? He was saying, uh, "I don't want to. I don't want to do that bullshit. 
Uh, oh, I he already... wanted to do it last time. Well, yeah, that's right. Then why don't we just tell him it was a phone? You told him it was a phone call. Yeah, and then, yeah. then he pictures him pissing his pants on uh, the internet. Yeah. So he's Fuck him. Probably... Yeah. <laughs> he's probably, he's probably not trying to go positive this time. But I don't, I don't want to apologize is, either. How no. is being no positive an angle? Yeah, Who I wants know. to hear that? Like, no, stay in school, eat your vegetables. You know what? The good yeah. people of Kansas. Uh, uh, <laughs> <maniac>. <laughs> uh, I mean, it'd be one thing if they called in advance and said, look, we want to come on and this is what the we want to do. Greatest Iranian hero. <laughs> greatest. Uh, I'm a chicomaniac. Eat your vegetables and stay in school, kids. What does he think he's going to be? What is he doing? He's the Iron Sheik. He's supposed to be hated here. He's from Iran. We hate Iran. Fuck him. His whole angle is to be a fucking nasty fucking camel jockey guy that Sergeant Slaughter punched. Yeah. Come on. Fuck him. Change his act to what? I don't know. You can't. Uh, go down he's, helping clean pelicans down in the Gulf. I know. I'm cleaning them up. I'm uh, going to volunteer to help African AIDS. What is he doing? He's a fucking cop. Fuck him. How, he's going to be Get like, back in the lamp. Back in the lamp, fucker. <laughs> Are they this coming back to a teacher from Tennessee? It's really. <laughs> I can't, bro. <laughs> it's still real to me. What the fuck? <laughs> what, what about that, that manager of his? He's a worm, too. Hey, well, no Colonel, fucking cares about that fat worm. Yeah, and he was, uh, I like how Jay just he's bailed a tick. <laughs> And oh, then Jay awesome. shook up the bees and then yeah. let him out of the That's jar right. and left right, the room. Yeah, I'm off to my pound cake. <laughs> yeah, right. He's, you know he's lamping his ass off right now. He caused a big shit. <laughs> Jay. While the, while Jay the, Laws. While the sheik was, was saying, let's go, I don't want to do this, let's go, let's go. He was saying, you know... Hey, we're trying to do something different. Come on, come on. And then once the sheik was out of earshot, he just kept going, Sam, I'm sorry. Believe me, I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm sorry, oh, Sam. Okay. I, I'm so, sorry. He was able to pull his head out of the sheik's fucking arm like a tick <laughs> long <laughs> enough. To... He's going to bring yeah, he's gonna bring fucking Emmanuel Stewart in here tomorrow. Enough with the temperamental iron sheik. Yeah. I, I, he gives yeah, a shit. He the fucking goes person. to... You know what he does? His whole thing is to sign photos for guys with mullets. Nobody gives a shit about him anymore. <laughs> I tell you what, he did Fuck look him. cute, though, with the earphones over the tablecloth. Yes. That was good. <laughs> that was, uh, that was something you don't see very often. That's something he wasn't wearing last time was the Yasser Arafat thing on his head. Right. And now I guess that made him serious. Maybe. I don't know. Like, he, he no more fucking around. Like he can't have Jay Moore fucking have is, a little, is that a, a little is that mic a work. Is thing that head headgear? Is that a religious thing, or is that just like oh, keep the to, sand out of your head? That's to wipe fucking body parts off of you after you fucking lob a bomb into a bus. Jesus, <laughs> fucking Christ. savage. Yeah, yeah. Enough. But you're yeah, sick yeah. of them. The headdress is more yeah. of a and bad I, guy. And I'm mean to the Jews, am I? Uh, <laughs> look, I'm with the Jews on this one. <laughs> I don't like that whole thing. Hey, trying to build another mosque in Staten Island. Boy, did they get an earful last night. There was a meeting, a public meeting. Yeah, they had they the, the footage the of the bloke out. saying he liked Thomas. Uh, yeah, Hamas, yeah, he liked Hamas and fucking shit. And Who this said guy that? now, some guy wants to build a mosque in Staten Island. Staten Island's like, go fuck your mother. Good, they're not gonna let him. No, well, right. you know, they probably will. Same thing that happened down at Ground Zero. Fucking block they, away. They're gonna they build they a mosque. They the whole thing. They're gonna build a big mosque so everybody can live all cushy and comfy together. How about uh, you pray at the fucking place that, that, that where a couple of thousand people died? Or how about once of your stupid religion? Muslims, instead of saying why you gotta be sensitive to all Muslims, how about once Muslims think sensitively towards the victims of people doing shit in the name exactly. of their religion? Oh, how yeah. about once or just, you hear that from just, Islam? Islamic just cir people. circumcising women and fucking not letting well, women. Fine. All right, there yeah. are good no, parts. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Those yeah, yeah, yeah. That badly, Jim. Uh, you want to give women pleasure? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Those clits really are pesky. Oh, they are. And if they want to keep them, you're buried up to your neck and we'll stone your face. But isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Circumcising women, the whole idea is that a woman shouldn't enjoy sex. Yeah! Like, you know what I kind of like about that? It's like, it would take all the effort out, wouldn't it? If yes! You just, if you just knew there's no result ever... <laughs> Hey, Jim is digging it. Yeah, if there's no result ever, that it's all just about me. I don't even. I'm not even going to feel guilty about not being tender. Take it out of it. Yeah. yeah. Her vagina is nothing more than an oiled catcher's mitt. You just stick your dick in it, finish. And she jumps up and down until it's empty. When they, when they take the clit off, there'd be stitches and stuff, wouldn't there? I would uh, nah. think in, in, in a civilized country there would be. It's a wax. They yeah. wax. Just Wait. put mealworms and fucking leeches on it or something. Would you, would you keep it in a uh, jar? Uh, Bill, Bill.
Bill is just, I'm just saying this because I love Bill's reaction. He puts his head in his hands and just goes like, oh, this fucking asshole. Anthony. We get ants to fucking oh, bite the God. wounds. No, I'm just doing that because when they show this clip on some other program later, I'll actually look oh, like I'm okay. concerned. Oh, 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 it's that guy. guy. Oh, I'm just, you know what? It's, uh, I, I, I don't I like that. I wanted to say something, but yeah. instead I sat here and drew pictures. <laughs> do, do, do you know that my, my brother is going into government in Australia? He's running for government in Australia. Right. What, are the, what do you do there? He, he wants to be Put up a, those dingo fences. He wants to be a politician, right? <laughs> dingo and, ate my baby. And having, having his younger brother be old cunt boy who talks about rape on the radio with you yeah, dickheads, that's... he feels like it's hurting his career a bit. Like Jimmy Carter became president, he had a drunk for a brother. That's yeah, right. So did Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton yeah, had a drug yeah, addict. Yeah, the drug addict fucking coke right. head. Yeah. Fucking uh, yeah, Joe Pulley fine. got into to you. He's got a drunk for a brother. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not like he's running for office, Jimmy. Hey, you, you we take a picture of my bulge? It's <laughs> fucking like insulting. Fucking bulge you got an erection after the clip? Nah, that's like, what it is. Both my nuts are over to one side. Yeah, just, <laughs> just push them it. over. I'm wearing tight Armani jeans. I know, they're like Lemmy. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Plant song remains the same. <laughs> fucking junk right in your face. There's a lady. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe the fucking Iron Sheik's not coming back. Uh, I'm in shock. I'm, I, I, I'm so come on, shocked. You got, he, 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 he'll, he'll he urinated come back. his slacks the last time he was here. It was all over the fucking internet. He's you been think, on. When yeah. he sobered up, do you think he was proud of that? <laughs> yes. I got a picture uh, signed. Putting his putting that cold championship belt up against his head to the soothe hangover. the hangover. Yeah. <laughs> what did I do? I'm going to yeah. go in there and I'm going to show that I, that I actually... People are that, saying... That there's another side to the Iron Sheik. Actually, Nick has mm. info on the Iron Sheik. I guess he's cleaning up his life or something. Nick, what do you uh, know on the Iron Sheik? Because yeah, we're really yeah, confused I'm, I'm, by this. I'm a little disappointed in the way you guys handled this interview here. Iron Sheik is a legend and should not be treated in the way the... All right, enough, thank you. Enough yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, 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 thank you. He's a legend. <laughs> It's still real to me, damn it. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's funny. And uh, what do you know about his meds? No, supposedly on this other horrible show that he was on earlier this morning, he was, they were talking about how he's on a lot of medication and uh, that his wife is ordering him to take in order to still stay in the house, and it's calming him the fuck down. And that, the that's the whole morning. thing. He's not putting himself in any sort of situation. I am on the Zoloft, so I do not kill y'all. Wait, so he's a mellow Iron Sheik. We didn't know that. No. We explained it was a phone call. But he wasn't he mellow. He, he got upset He's trying to quickly. become a different person because his wife won't bang a, him there was unless a moment he cleans up his ass. At the beginning when he's like, fucking suck you, suck my big 10-inch dick, you fucking fuck face, like that, where yeah. I thought, oh, he's having fun. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it was uh, like uh, mic uh, work. They yeah. do. Like back and forth, the wrestlers, they go, I know, and I'll see you at Madison Square Garden on July 21st when I'm going to come in. Uh, 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 Rumble by the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. one of those <laughs> fucking things. But no, the Iron I'm Sheik not fighting you here. I'll fight you at pay-per-view. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what happened? God, that was just like fucking weird. Should have brought Mr. Fuji in. I think he's coming. Ah, I bet he's coming dust off. Dust in his eyes. Whatever happened to Mr. Fuji? Mr. Fuji, he's up yeah, on you, charges. You wouldn't. No, you wouldn't even need the original eyes. Mr. Fuji. Just a fat Asian in a hat. <laughs> he's got a. But he, good news is he does have a fight coming up next week. He'll be fighting lithium. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, all right, punch him out. Here we go. He's he's on Twitter. Yeah. No, see, someone does this. I, I, I ain't buying into this shit. I asked the fucking manager who does his Twitter because it, it's pretty funny. The uh, the Iron Sheik has a Twitter, and uh, the latest tweet is Jay Moore thirty seven. You put me over on the radio. I'm I am the legend today. I just chill out, but I am the real champion, not that cocksucker Bubba. Uh, Bubba, what? He didn't write that. No, he doesn't write his own. Fucking what do you, What do you mean? That's not him. No. I would think it that says is the Iron a Sheik right PR there. Person. Come on, guys. No, I, I asked think the guy. That's somebody trying. I to... actually follow the Iron Sheik on Twitter, so I, I asked his manager who's writing that shit. It's really funny, and he said a couple guys in Boston or something. So they heard that and were like, "Uh oh, yeah. now we got to do some damage yeah. control." Yeah. Oh, you put me over. Yeah. Like I did that. It was part of yeah. the act leaving the studio. Yeah. Who's Bubba? Uh, I don't know. Some fucking hillbilly that thinks he's good. What other wrestlers do you get? Do you ever get the Bushwhacker guys from New Zealand? We had one. I've seen them. Oh, yeah. We had one of the guys in here. The Bushwhackers. We had from a Bushwhacker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but now, if they came in, we'd have to treat them very nicely and not call them Bushwhackers. You ever have, you ever have the Moon Dogs on here? Do you remember them? No. no. Moon Dog 1, 2, and 3. They come in chewing on those dog bones. Oh, God. I don't remember that. I don't remember that either. You don't remember the. I'm sure. Uh, no. I'm sure there's a, there's a. I believe you. How, how... Google Images. 
Do they uh, wrestle with Hulk and all those guys? They they only around for a minute. They were a uh, triple team. Jesus Christ, was yeah, it I uh, WWF? Nobody? I, don't I really don't remember. Is George Animal still still around? He was my favorite. The one that used to eat the corner pads. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was the guy oh, who was actually guy. was a substitute teacher in, out of Detroit. Yeah. Oh, he's from in Detroit. Parts, yeah, something like that. From parts unknown. Unknown. Right. And he would eat the turnbuckle. He was like a gorilla that they shaved type of thing, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he was hairy. Uh, should we break and regroup? What are we doing? I got a whiz again. All right, let's do that. Let's, know, break. let's get some. Let's get some plugs in. You got uh, Bill Burr tonight. Tomorrow is Saturday at Caroline's. Two shows tonight, right, two Bill? Two shows tonight. Two, one, two, seven, five, seven, 4100 for Bill Burr at Caroline's. Jim Jeffries all over the fucking place because he's not in America a lot or something. Better, like I'm in America a lot. Stress yeah. Factory this weekend. Stress Factory this weekend. Wilbur Theater coming up what? Uh, next weekend. I'm doing Minnesota, Philadelphia, and, uh, and, and, and Boston <laughs> uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday Dresden. next week. So. <laughs> What's Dresden? <laughs> well, we firebombed him in <laughs> firebombed Germany. Incendiary <laughs> bombs on civilians. Yeah, yet another war crime. A, we got a lot of them. We got a lot of them. <laughs> oh, don't be so uh, guilty, fuck. Bill. They deserve oh, no, no, it. I, I, I'm not guilty. No? But I, I just, you know, I, didn't I bring up their aborigine bullshit? Yeah, Abor I, I, I've come to the point where I now I just feel everybody's completely full of shit. What do you mean? Right, that's, that's, that's kind of where I'm Australians are quite open that's about our killing of, of Aboriginals. You know, yeah. Tasmania, that little bit at the bottom, the little bit at the bottom of Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, was that the part where, the, where you guys get we, we got on your all. boogie boards when you were out there? Yeah. There's not one Aboriginal left on that island. They got all of them. <laughs> got all of them. They got <laughs> fucking. It makes it sound like a good thing. Like, yeah, right. we got them all. They got all of them. That's <laughs> fucking quite an effort. Like, that's, that's you have to really see. <laughs> when you have them mold out. in your house and they got to put that tarp over <laughs> yes. and smoke everything out. <laughs> yeah. That's what they did to the island. Like, like one yeah. of them lived to be quite old, but then when she died, that it was, was on the news, like, well, that's them all done. <laughs> it's no more left. And none of them have none of them have travelled down there as tourists to live. Why would you? Yeah, it's you know you're not wanted if amazing, they got rid of every single place. one of them. Uh, we got the answer to your moon dog question, Bill Burr. Tell Bill Burr I saw the moon dogs at Malden High School in Massachusetts in the gym. <laughs> they, res they wrestled for five dollars in the mid nineties. Five oh, in the mid '90s. I know. I saw them in the late their heyday. Yeah, the late five dollars you could get well, they a to watch the Moon Dogs back they, in the '90s. They, they performed BP. at a food court at the South Shore yeah. Plaza in Braintree. I waited too long on British Petroleum. I knew it. It went up or, today. Uh, yeah, I was waiting for a fucking nice dip. It happened. I was going to jump in, and it's up like ten percent today. Fuck! Yeah. I was going to buy that shit. What? BP. Because it went down so far. Oh yeah. It, How much is it a share? It's a bargain. It's still a bargain. It's like fucking now it's got to be what 30 something bucks it just just went up uh 10 today yeah. uh It'll, dude it was at, it was at over 60 something a share and now it was down to 29 seems 30. like a lot of effort this stock market yeah, oh, it's crazy. You, you, oh you brits <laughs> you <laughs> brits i'm always, I'm always gonna call the, the, them pick, the pick of the day yeah. is for stock at least uh i don't know if it's bp because i didn't realize that was gonna go up yeah but uh they're saying that there's a raw dog stock, which will go on sale at 4 o'clock today. Boo. Jim. Boo. <laughs> What's raw dog? Florentine will be my co-host. Otto will be my guest. Boo for the plug. Uh, don't call me a disaster vulture. I just see opportunity for buying. And I buy, and then I sell. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go take leaks. We'll finish the show next. Your fancy uh, wardrobe. Uh, yeah. Exactly. My, my, my mosque stock is going down in Staten Island or whatever it is. <laughs> We'll break. Yeah. We'll finish up next. Stay there. But first this. So over here first, Travis. The boys uh, made this. Crazy day. Bill Burr, Jim Jeffries in studio. Hey. Um, Travis has got the Iron Sheik thing. Oh, yeah? Because that was very confusing. We had no fucking idea that was going to happen today. Jay Moore's on the phone, wants to talk to the Iron Sheik. I'm thinking Jay Moore might be a big-time fucking wrestling fan. A Sheik fan? Like an old-school wrestling fan. I thought fan. they were doing a bit. Yeah. And Jay Moore, just like our Taylor Hicks interview, decided to blow it up right in front of our eyes, and we didn't see it coming in. Didn't, didn't see it coming. It. He started a fire and then said, uh, well, have fun uh, putting that, out the fire, That really boys. was a thing of beauty. It was, he, he, he got it right I, to the point. I, I Jay Moore it part was beautiful. He played it perfectly. Uh, but just in case you, you missed it, we're going to play the Iron Sheik thing. And then um, Sam just gave me audio. He actually talked to the Iron Sheik as he was leaving the building. So, oh. So let's start with how, how it all went down uh, about a half hour ago. Can you hear me? Chat, Sam, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you there? Can you hear me right now? Okay. Right. USA number Iron one. Iron Sheik, can you hear me? 
I, yeah, yeah, yes, you yes. listen to me good. You're a no good son of a bitch, piece of shit, motherfucker. You Fuck you, me? motherfucker. You're yeah, a piece of on, shit yourself. On. You can come suck you're my Italian. ten fucking inch cock. Fuck yeah, you. You're a piece of shit, garbage. Come here, I put in the camel clutch. I fuck your ass, I make you humble. I know you'll do it in my butt, because that's the only way you yeah, can do it. Yeah, right? fuck <laughs> you, piece of shit. Yeah, come on, man. I'm right outside. Come on, motherfucker. Well, I'm here, too. Wake up, stupid. You sound like a fuck moron. Fuck you. I don't want to fucking do that every year. Oh, this motherfucker. He just, oh, he just, right? let's, he just let, turned his let, earphones let's, off. Let's, let's just cut with the trying to rile him up, okay? We don't want to do that to... Wait, what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he threw his headphones. He doesn't want to... You know, we're trying to change his life around a little bit. All right, Thanks, Jay. Jay. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Jay. You Get back here! Hey, get back here! Iron Sheik, it's okay. We didn't want to do it this way. Somebody call it the guy from the legend. What happened? We're trying to change things. We're trying to change things around here. We'll say something. And that's when he walked out. When you listen to it back, yeah. Jay was slightly aggressive with him. <laughs> like, at the time, it felt all friendly. Yeah, yeah. But if you don't have the visuals, if you're just listening to it... Yeah. It's like, listen, you son, son of a... Of a He's like, wow, yeah, that's yeah. really nasty. Yeah, with I, friends I, I, like that, who needs enemies? <laughs> I like the bit where he goes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fuck you in the ass and make you humble. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's so, it's like nice and aggressive. Yeah. It's fun. It's a life well, lesson in there. Yeah, yeah. And none of us knew that he wanted to, to, to do it a different way today, which makes that even better. That yeah, Jay Moore went no. right, at, right at him, right out of the box. He told us. Uh, oh, hold on. Sorry. While we were walking here, while you guys were on the air. Yeah. We were, <laughs> we were walking up the hall. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and that's when he said, the Iron Sheik's not feeling well today, uh, and he wants to be more positive. I don't think the Iron Sheik's got many years left. Could you yeah. hear him wheezing when he was fighting back? Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah. He, he was he was out of breath. He hasn't been on the best of health. He's no. going for ankle surgery, I think, next uh, week. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, boy. God. Oh, so what? you they don't come back from that. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talked to him as, as he was leaving, right? I mean, kind of. I pretty much just left the recorder on, but yeah. All right, let's see. From going into mosques and not knowing how to choose. Off. Tell that fucking piece of shit, my manager. I'm not, I'm not interested. What's his cane? What you, can you can hear the cane. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was his cane tapping. Right. Now yeah. we go back, because now you can really appreciate that. That's the, that's the cane noise. What happened? They bothered you? Yeah, man. I'm not feeling good today. Tell him let's go, man. Uh, I yeah, tell him let's go. Fuck him. Yeah. This fucking Jeff only want to get that involved with that bullshit. What, he's making you do all this stuff when you don't feel well? Yeah. Yeah, man. I tell you I don't want to do that shit. Let's go, man. Let's go. Damn, I told you, they went right for the kill for a crazy phone call. We're trying to do, we have a whole different thing we wanted to do. Dead, man. We had a whole different thing we wanted to do today. What did you want to do? We, like, was, we, had, we had other stuff that we wanted to get over. Yeah, we didn't want to get over all the craziness. We didn't want to, I don't want to get them all riled up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm huh? done. I'm done. Trying to make money off this guy. Yeah. We'll do something. What did, uh, I wasn't in there, what did he say? Well, they went right to an end, into a phone call with someone, like, you know, insulting him so he could just do the, you know, curse at him, and he didn't want to do that. We had a whole thing we wanted to promote here, and yeah. it just didn't, it just, uh, you know, and it didn't, Thank we didn't God, know we what, we that needed part. To, what we needed to promote. And it's just, Don't let me again fucking run the head no more again for that. No more bullshit. I'm yeah. done, I'm done. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 That's they, it. They, they were like an old gay couple towards the end, weren't they? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Wow. And the it just kept fuck. like, it was kind of hard to pick up on the recording, but he kept going like, when the Iron Sheik was there, Sam, what are you doing? And then leaning in real close and saying, I'm sorry, Sam, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, it was yeah. obvious, I mean, and then... Iron Sheik. And the Sheik is, he's, he's mad at his manager. Yeah. Well, I don't even know what the hell happened. It's very strange. I don't know what's going on. Jay Moore. I don't give a shit. No, I just... I mean, Whatever. But I don't think he's long for this world, the Iron Sheik. Oh, no. What did we miss? 20 minutes? Of I think we got his last <laughs> interview. Suck my dick.
yeah, I think yeah. that was his last interview. I think, he's, uh, I think he's gonna think. gonna die. All we wanted we was him. to get him back in so Jim Jeffries would go after him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's he might. He's a guy that do. would hit you though. He's a guy that would take yeah. a swing at yeah, you. Yeah, but I, 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 there's, there's not many professional wrestlers I think I could beat. But Fuck. I think. I think I'm more nimble than the Iron Sheik. I'm not saying I would actually yeah, beat think, him in a fight. I think I, think I could, could outrun him. I could get out of the way. Yeah. Out of the way the take space, dude. I bet you if he, if he <laughs> fucking threw himself space. at you, he's a strong, old Iranian wrestler. He's a problem, dude, to this day. We're not yeah. good with uh, washed up wrestlers. I just think that would be good for my right. who's walked That'd out. That'd be good for my career getting beaten up by Iron Sheik. I'd take that. For so a, Ventura yeah. has walked off this show, and the Iron Sheik, <laughs> yeah. two wrestling legends, <laughs> have walked off of this program. Bad things come in threes, right? Who's That's next? right. Oh, yeah. oh Maybe Bob Backlund yeah. can come in. We'll call him a cunt face. <laughs> Roddy, Roddy, Roddy Piper. <laughs> we going to include Gary Coleman? Or? Uh, <laughs> no, he doesn't, he, doesn't count, exactly. he doesn't count in your bad Another three. one that won't be back. <laughs> no, we, were nice, we were nice to Gary. Yeah, yeah we were. Yeah. I, he might have walked out, but I think No, we were, he was, uh, he was think, actually yeah, a yeah, fan. I think we did all right with him. Who was that? Yeah, I think Gary Coleman. Coleman. I think he seemed like a sweet guy. Yeah. Time. No, he was a bitter guy. He, he was, was nice a nice guy. He was a very nice guy. But very Dude, how many guy. bad hands can you if be that dealt? that makes sense. I know. Yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? Fucking, I'm adopted. Yeah. My kidneys are fucked up. But he was short. adopted, too? My, yeah, yeah, my adopted, adopted parents took my money. They're the ones trying to make money, money. Made. Everybody yeah. calls like, me a shrimp and all, all the midget and all that shit. short stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like, Dude, even when he died, somebody sent me a... a a, a email and they go uh, Gary Coleman's casket and it was yes. a picture of that Coleman cooler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Coleman no, I cooler. Wait, really? And I was I just that. like, "Where's that? <laughs> oh, did that come from oh. this show? No, it it's probably just... did. We were just, we did a whole bit yesterday, was it, or two days ago? It's like, all right, We've enough seen with the it Coleman enough cooler. Times. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Like, people still he's... try to show you like it's new. <laughs> he's one of those guys. Oh, that I, 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 I was just literally when that happened. I was just like, gee, even when he's dead, it's still just a yeah. fucking yeah. joke. Oh, yeah. I, feel, <laughs> I don't care how good his intentions were if he ticked the box on his license that said organ donor, but I don't think any of them are any good. No, yeah, no. exactly. Just, like, <laughs> little rotten, rejected. Kidneys and fucking oh. his toes look like little macadamia nuts. <laughs> Body's too small, so all those oh. organs are earmarked. <laughs> They're just like bent. We, <laughs> we do have the trifecta of wrestlers walking out, by the way. Wrinkled. Can you fucking and, let the man rest in peace? All right. You're you're, <laughs> you're forgetting the greatest wrestler to walk out on us. Uh, we do have a trifecta. What was that? The Rock. Oh, the the Rock with the racist out. shit. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Why did the Rock? What did you say to the Rock, dude? It was it was some guy that ran a website. And sick, he wanted to come boy. in here. Sick boy's back on Twitter. Oh, is he? Yeah. He wanted to come in and, and meet The Rock. And we were Big. like, cool, because we had talked to him for a few times and shit like that. And, and we're like, you know what? He might have show. a couple questions we don't. Yeah, some, some of that angle. inside shit. So we're like, yeah, come on in. Invite him in. And, we and, don't know him that well. He no. did the show a few times. Seemed nice enough. So The Rock... Uh, Looks at him and uh, he asks the Rock a question and well, no, I go, he tells the Rock who he is. Okay, I go sick yeah. boy, you got a question. And the Rock recognized the name from this website because the Rock knew about this website, and the Rock had read some racist comments about himself on this website. So uh, the Rock walked off this show. The Rock walked what, off the, the show. What, the what rock, ethnicity the rock, is the rock. the rock? Jesus Christ! Have the Rock is like Samoan. Yes. Oh, is yeah. it walking right out the door. Just gone. Well, we, didn't know. We, we call him coconut. Yeah, just right. put some psycho listener on. What could happen? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's done well That's by what, us. They, they used to do that on Nightline, didn't they? Ted <laughs> yeah. Koppel be like, you know what? I was going to ask the. Other, no, I just have this guy from fucking Tennessee. I'm going to have to ask you a couple of questions. I'm sure nothing could go wrong with this. Uh, yeah, you might be right. Take the floor. You might be right. He uh, walked out on us. By the way, Anthony's bulge, which I have Twittered a picture of, he's got over a thousand views already. All right. Yeah. Everybody just, wants to see that delicious cock. It's just tight nut bulge, though. Whatever it is. Yeah, it's, you know. Fucking sing lovey like a reptile in those little tight slacks. Fucking some boots. <laughs> <laughs> And you want the Bobo update? He called. Uh, he called that number we gave him for your ex. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's see. Talk uh, to Bobo. Bobo. So earlier in the show, you admitted that you have something for uh, Anthony's ex of nine okay. years. Yeah. And, and he, that you actually masturbate uh, to her. Yeah. He talked uh, to Melinda at uh, a gig or something, and um, yeah. yeah. And now he jerks off to her and thinks he's going to get a date with her. Right. So we gave Bobo her number. Bobo, what happened? Yeah, well, well, apparently you guys gave the number on air, and there was a lot of busy signals. Uh -oh. And when I finally got through, she she just she probably picked up, and it was just completely quiet. You you have to talk though. Yeah, so, what did you say? 
Did you say anything? I said, yeah. I said, yeah, it's me. It's me, Bobo. I got, got, they, they gave me this number. Hmm. I want to make, I was just want to make sure it was the right number. You got all the lines. Oh, wow. So what happened? Nothing. Just got hung up on. By who? We, you got to be persistent. Women love a persistent man. Like, yeah, you got to yeah, keep I, calling, I on, show up at the house, stand out in front of the house. A lot of people called her because you gave the number on air. I didn't give it out on air. Well, the busy signal sounded like it was. And who, who picked up and what did they say? Uh, there was no one. It was just complete other silence. Yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. And that's oh, the update. Well, Bobo. It's well, a good an update. I'll, I'll put in a good word for you. It's, it's quite quite the theater of the mind you do. <laughs> uh, right, well, well, I should, should should I try calling again? Yeah, call as often as you can until you get through. Uh, yeah. All right, Bobo. That's it for right. today. You were really good in yeah, the beginning yeah. of the show. Yeah, yeah. Not so much right now. Not so much right now. And, uh, uh, all right. Uh, Mike in Albany. Mike. Hey, Opie, wasn't the Rock interview the one where when he walked off, you told him he was nothing and would never be as big as y'all were? Well, we might have said that to the Rock Bill Burr. <laughs> 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 then I got it. I got mad that he didn't see it our way because I'm like, we don't know this guy. Come back. We'll do, we'll we'll fucking smooth this over. And then uh, when he said no, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, you'll a... never be as big as him. Never be as and big uh, as he was we just, are. He was kind of just coming up and just starting to peak. What a pompous, <laughs> dumb <laughs> state. Boy, that really worked out in my favor. <laughs> I, I, I think he's on his eighth movie. I think yeah. we're making all... about ten to twenty million a picture. We've all been there. <laughs> I auditioned for that Tooth Fairy film. Did you? Yeah. Tooth Fairy. Yeah. And it's very, very few. I've never been in a movie, but yeah. sometimes I was, I was like. Thank God I didn't get that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, that wasn't one you wanted. That's the one you always get the call back for because you don't give a shit. Uh, yeah, he's so loose and relaxed. We'd love to have him on the set. Oh. <laughs> I remember they were doing, uh, I think I told this story. I, I was. Uh, I auditioned like maybe 14 or 15 years ago. Remember that show Fame? Yeah. Ooh, they were doing Fame LA and they needed oh. a comedian. <laughs> no. So it's one of the deals. I'm early in my career and it's just like you don't know that you have a choice. So if they just say you have an audition, so I'm going, I don't want to get this shit. So I went in, of course, I get a call back. Oh. I got all the way to testing in front of the network where we had to do improv with like some of the groundlings down literally at the improv. And uh, fortunately, I, I kind of butchered that and uh, I didn't yeah. get it. But I was sitting there kind of like I was in a panic. Going, I'm gonna that be you a, might actually I'm get, gonna get it. On, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get on. You, you know, how bad a TV show has to be to throw you into a panic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be on a TV show. I'll pay, I can pay my bills. <laughs> Fame LA came this close. Uh, did, did, did that show actually go ahead? Fame LA. Uh, you know what? I don't know. Once, I don't once I'm so about fucking it. wrapped what up. What was in my Fame own, LA? I'm sorry, but I was out. Oh, I, we were talking. He, 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 he was talking about oh, okay. yeah. auditioning for the movie Tooth Fairy, and that's one you don't want to get. And I was just, you know, telling those stories where you go and it's a piece of shit. See. You don't care, and it comes off as like like you know what you're doing. Right. Because you could give a fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's improvising. This kid's got balls. That show yeah, what's, what's the show doing? never made TV. I don't think. Right. I, they I never did no, L.A. Fame. Or I have fame no LA idea. Or whatever. Yeah. I don't. I don't remember I don't ever remember. seeing it or hearing about it. Yeah. I thought I would watch. That it. was during the time they of like franchise them out like rock. CSI or something. Cop, oh wow! Cop yeah. Rock. Cop rock. Yeah. <laughs> what a great idea. Let's have a cop show where they sing and dance. Oof. That wouldn't even have worked in the 40s. No. <laughs> <laughs> a Busby Berkeley production. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. <laughs> you got a parking ticket. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we could do one more thing today. What? what? Yes. Oh, Ant's looking at his watch. What do you got uh, today? What do you got today? Well, going I, to the I range. Had to no, I had to switch things around with the uh, with the trainer. So some today. things. You got a today. personal trainer? Yes. He looks good. Your forearms look fucking good. My Anthony fucking buffs up good. quickly. I am. I am like fucking. Look at that. Look at me. So I've been doing. He, he, no, he has those white trash jeans. From all those ancestors yeah. of loading and unloading uh, trucks. Uh, <laughs> skinny, <laughs> skinny idiot with a fucking big dick and fucking good definition in his biceps. <laughs> That's all I got. Oh, you fucking that wiry long, cunt. That long blue collar back, and then you got the fucking midget legs. <laughs> you can pick up a box without bending over. Long blue collar back. <laughs> oh, fuck. Remember those kids? Holy they always shit. took shock, shock yeah. class. 
Uh, their fucking eyes are can never make it to their waist. There was the guy. <laughs> and the, and those those guys on the job sites always had like the leather weight belt that they'd wear at work. Oh, just yeah. so when they're lifting stuff up, they don't pull their back out. Yeah, as opposed to asking for help. Yeah, like, I know. They're lifting fucking washing machines yeah. and shit. <laughs> Why don't you I'm have a friend help you, you fucking yeah. scumbag? Dummy. <laughs> Uh, well, you want to play this or not? Or you want to get yeah. out of here? What is it? Just a fucking woman calling 911 looking for a husband. Oh, yeah. excellent. Excellent. Yeah, this is a great oh, clip. Oh, great clip. Comedy. Well, yeah, yeah, let's I'm get some comedy on the air. Yeah, let's do you something. called three times. What do you need? I called you back. You don't answer. What is your emergency? What can the police department oh, help you with at this very moment? What do you need? I, I don't answer because my telephone is off. Okay, well, it's not off because you keep dialing 911 and not answering. You hang up and you don't, you don't, you're not there. What do you need us to do for you right now? I have an emergency call on the other line. I need to get a husband. You need uh, to get a husband? Yeah. You're calling yeah. 911 to get a husband. Uh, well, that, man, is, that is not, that doesn't, yes, you know you can get arrested for dialing 911. Do you know you can get arrested for dialing 911? Let's do it. You want to get arrested for dialing 911? Absolutely. Okay. You stay on the line, okay? Thank you, dear. She's All drunk. Right. Audrey, okay, we're going to send you an officer, okay? <laughs> Thank you. So You're much. welcome. Oh, bye bye. Shit. Just another fucking uh, burden. Another me. Another me, fucking me. nut. Me. We really should just start putting fucking bullets into people's temples. No, me. but I also think the fucking <laughs> woman, the 911 woman, if you're so concerned about the line being held up, just hang up on this fucking bitch. She'll keep calling yeah, back. Yeah. She's had enough of this bitch. I, I once, when I was a kid, was driving home, and I saw, like, a, a, a fucking tree on fire that had hit, like, the power wires, right? Yeah. So I'm driving home, and I've seen this, and it's late at night. I, I was working in this bar, so I've come home. I was 18 years old. So I, I go knock on the fucking door with these trees on fire at the front and wake the family up and go, oh, the trees on fire, right? Then... I call the fire engine thinking, I'm a fucking god. I've just saved people. In my mind, I just <laughs> saved lives, right? And I ring up and I go, oh, there's a fire out the front of this house. And then they go, okay, what's the address? And I go, um, it's fucking on the corner of fucking. And the lady goes, if you're going to speak like that, I'll just hang up on you. <laughs> And I'm like, are you fucking kidding? I'm a hero! <laughs> I, yeah, but she was upset about the fucking swearing, and she works on the 911. Yeah, really... maybe you should be prepared for people using some language yeah, when they the get excited. Just fucking stab me, yeah. sir! <laughs> sir! Uh, sir! Wow. <laughs> it's no surprise to me that he did, if you're using language like that. Yeah. <laughs> maybe if you cleaned it up and stopped people. shouting. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh, what, a, what a bunch of knuckleheads. I can always tell you about the same story. I know, when, Chip, when Chip's ready to talk. <laughs> yes, Chip? No, she's lady like, probably is saying, watch your language. You're probably like, what are you talking about? This whole place is burning, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you what, it's, it's so time. uncomfortable. <laughs> it's just not... All right, well, I think we did it. Yeah. Yes, we did. What do we got, Jim? Jeffrey, Back Stress Factory tonight. Yeah. Stress Through Factory. Sunday, and Wilbur Theater in Boston coming up soon. That's, That's next weekend. Second show added because the first one sold out. God damn. What do we got? Beer content may kill oil. Is that what they're going to do? Are they, I mean, the really? sound is down. Are they going to dump uh, yeast into oh, the Gulf? Some kind of, uh, oh, yeah, some yeast kind of thing that will actually eat. The oil. Ah. It will make it into Vegemite. Yeah. Vegemite yeah, then it'll sucks. shit out something else. I'm going to bring some in for you. Next time I've got buckets. Of, next time I'm in, I'm right, bringing well, you some in to fucking Next time eat. I'm in. That's like a black guy <laughs> saying he's going to bring in like some kind of stereotypical black food. Like like a stolen stereo. I wasn't going to say anything. I'm just saying. He's having an Australian saying he's going to bring in a Vegemite. It's like, you know, oh, good. Yeah. And I'll bring in some Galamar. It is never fucking. Are you, oh. are you a Dago? Are you, are you a Dago? Yeah. Italian? I'm all fucking Dago. Dagoed out. Yep. yep. Goddamn Guinea. Listen. Hard not to be. It's very attractive. People like that quality. Oh, yeah. It's, it's popular. Tomorrow, maybe we'll discuss, but Chip has gotten caught up in it. And he's known as Chipper D around the house. Chipper D. For the Jersey Shore thing. And, and I hear he dances to chip hop music. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know why your chick stays with you. <laughs> <laughs> you believe me, you have no idea how I was having my, my face almost bitten last night. 
<laughs> she hated really? it. Hated it. It was Sudley. She, she, Sudley. Uh, she's really getting tired of all the characters. <laughs> she's, she's she's like, I just it. want my boyfriend. She probably doesn't even want that. <laughs> I mean, there might be one character she likes who she thinks is the boyfriend. No, she hates all of them. Sudley. Yeah. Good old Sudley. All right, we're going to find out more about that days. tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, Bill Burr, two shows tonight at Caroline's. 212-757-4100, and then Friday, and then three shows Saturday. Wow. A lot of them selling out, too. So go see Bill Burr. He doesn't get uh, to New York that often. So do that. Yes. Sure. And you're going to be back tomorrow? Absolutely. Oh, nice. Nice. Like Jeffrey, you coming back tomorrow? Uh, it's a long way from Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, do I'm doing. I'm doing. I think. I'm what doing... happened to the eager Jim Jeffries when I, you first I, met no, us? When, I'm in New when York, you first met us? When I'm in New York, I, I had. Uh, when... I, I, I wanted something out of life then, but I, I'm, I'm doing. Um, I'm doing. Uh, I think I'm doing Jim Brewer's show uh, tomorrow afternoon. Ah. Okay. Oh, he's, so he's, a, he's a nice lad. He's a funny guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah absolutely. We like him. All he's, right. a good, he's a good egg. Let's get the phone. I got my Raw Dog Two, show today. Oh, yeah, Jimmy, Raw Jimmy, dog. Jimmy. 4 o'clock uh, with XM 150, Sirius 104. At Florentine's my co-host, and Otto is my guest today. Otto. Otto. Very cool. Yes. Otto. And we'll see you uh, tomorrow, I guess, huh? Yep, let's do that.